Yeah, you know that because you agree. <laughs> Yeah. And then at dinner, they're going to be like, first day. Oh, my God. I'm that so stressed. Yeah. You're going to be like, why? <laughs> I just got so many bills coming up. Like, I just got so... I'm telling you, we got to hurry up and eat because I got to go. You know we got to hurry up and eat. Do you know what I would do? I look at the phone and be like... They get irritated. I phone mom. like, why is he going to tell me she's got so many bills to pay? I'm like, bro, bro, I don't know. <laughs> like, what? Why are you I'm telling, telling you've got so many bills to pay? Yeah, I, I, don't I don't know, that. girl. I don't do that either, but I know a lot of girls like that, especially yeah. in Atlanta, like, yeah. so that's where why we live. I'm, that's why I'm laughing. Because yeah. I'd look at that message and be like, boy, if, if, if I feel like in order, the way I respond to this message will determine whether our friendship continues. Mm. Yeah. Then we might as well just cut ties now. Yeah. If a girl, I'm going to tell y'all right now, if y'all ever get a text from a girl that say, I'm so stressed, just don't block ask. her. Don't just ask. Don't ask why. Why. All y'all do is say, damn, that's crazy. Say, damn. 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 <laughs> damn. I'm going to pray right. for you. <laughs> Send the prayer hand emojis. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah. We just cut that out. <laughs>
Oh, was that a British accent? Oh, he didn't even know. I didn't even know. I was trying. Oh, was that what? You were like, yeah, no. No. Better than yesterday. Oh, yesterday was bad. I think it gets better every day. So what was it, sir? Can I hear it again? Holiday. Holiday. You know we don't talk like that, right? Because it's like, you should do it, right? No, no, no. You could be this tone like, holiday. <laughs> like, I don't say holiday. Holiday. No, no, but no. I'm a girl, so I feel like you know it sounds a little oh, okay, okay. woman. Because to be fair, if you if you were um, American, you wouldn't sound like her either. Do y'all have an American so. accent? That's what I'm saying. Do we have American accent? Do y'all have one? Like, can y'all do one? Like, can y'all do one? I messed about one. I don't know if it's good. Yeah, or I did not. a New York. Let one. me hear it. Oh, you put me on the spot now. Okay, just say like, What's "Hey, it? how you doing?" No, that's not what I would say. I would, what? I would say, I would say one of their phrases. Okay. Like, dead ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what up, though? Yeah. Say, like, okay. Mean, huh? what's, what's another one? What up, though? What up, though? You still sound what British. Up, though? What up, though? Yeah, it's but it's crazy because the, the British actors, I never know that they're British. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. They, they sound like wait, wait, wait. exactly. I'm with you on that. I didn't know either. I promise you. You did it? There's some we didn't know. Like, it just, it, like it just Alba, when he was in The Wire. I can't lie to you. You I didn't know? know? Oh, no, I knew. Really? I, knew. I didn't know. I didn't know. Personally, I didn't know. Yeah, but I didn't know that. The okay. guy from All American, I can't think of his name. The show All American, the football show. It's on like Netflix. He's, 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 uh, it's a black guy. What's his name? Oh, I don't know. Um, I can't think of his name. You know what? I've seen, that show comes up guy. sometimes. What's I don't watch name? it, but... Some... Yeah, I, I watched like the first few seasons, but Tay Diggs is in it. He, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who's the, who's the uh, UK guy? Oh, I can't think of it's his name. Daniel guy. Ezra. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's his name. Yeah! Oh, shit! Yes! He's this British. Guy. You didn't know that. I didn't, watching oh, the show, wow. I didn't yes, know that. Yes, that's him. He's British. I swear. Yeah, when I, I didn't seen know him do an interview, I said, what? That's not how you sounded on the field. There's loads from Brummers. I swear. That's the hardest accent as well. One of and the oh, guy okay. from um, BMF, what's his name? Eric a, a brief. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Love yeah, 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 I yeah, had yeah. no idea that nah, he was from the UK. The UK. Did a but, few even white ones like Batman, um, Christopher Bell, Christian, Christian Bell, Christian Bell is English. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. the guy who plays mm-hmm. Superman is English. Uh-huh. I didn't know. What's his name again? They do a great Cab- job having something. Oh yeah, the fine one. I was gonna say Tom Cahill, not Cahill. Doctor Umar gonna be have to be mad at me for that one. Cause he fine. Message, Superman gonna, looks good. They're gonna message you. Mm-hmm. Mm, my sister. It, my black queen. <laughs> do you not think he's a bit too? He a little street. Who, Doctor Umar? Yeah. I love Doctor Umar. No, I mean sometimes he makes sense. Sometimes a bit like I don't care what he says. Oh. I'll be like, go ahead, brother. <laughs> you know what it is? He keep niggas in line. He though. do. And one thing about it is, I like people who stand in their ground even if they're wrong. Yeah. Because one thing about it, he always has his receipts and backs up mm-hmm. why he believes what he believes. Okay. Right. I can only respect it, yeah. mm-hmm. even if I don't agree with what he's saying. He gonna stand. He tall. make valid points. He yeah, yeah he do be making valid him, points. But... Yeah. I'm not mad at it. So when you say keep niggas in line, what do you mean? I, I mean, I feel like he hold, I feel like he hold niggas accountable. For yeah. That bullshit a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. So what have you seen in the news recently and you feel like that's bullshit? Like, I saw something today. What? Ooh. What'd you see? What's what's my man's name that is dating um Chloe Kardashian? Oh, Tristan. Tristan. The way he hugged her, gave it a little tip tip. No, don't mess in the back though. Mm. Because he then he went behind her afterwards and she was like, can you move, please? Their, their, their interactions, you could tell he don't want to be there, man. I think it was a I think they're trying to sell she the... want to be there anymore, though, to be fair. that I think they're trying to sell the storyline yeah, like he yeah. wants her back and she's, like, done with it. Yeah, but yeah. it's is giving... That, is that DMs popping? How? Oh, oh, no, I'm, no, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm asking him to answer. Oh, oh, I'm right. just saying, out of the Kardashians, is her DMs popping? I yeah. Like, probably, for sure. I with mean, who? It's with Chloe niggas. Kardashian. Thirsty niggas. Oh, they want do that. that check. Don't, don't do that. Don't they do want that so. Kardashian <laughs> check. I feel like it's so many niggas in her DMs right now. I'll slide myself. I, I don't think there's money in the DMs. That's there's why she... I don't, I don't think there is. That's why she keeps going back to this guy. Why? Do you think that, like, men are intimidated, maybe? No, not even intimidated. I just think they just not interested. No, there is. Really? Well. There is that. Yeah, I just I think, I think men are intimidated. If, if you're coming to Chloe, you have to have a certain amount yeah. of money or something. Yeah. But, but then people, but she might not even want that, but it's just a perception that she's a Kardashian. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, but bear in mind, I, this is from the perspective of allowing this man to just consistently treat you like. Play with you, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? That's where I'm coming from. Because mm-hmm. you did have a, a another video. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now, when you spoke about your friend who was um, with a dude who eventually unalived. <gasps> That's that video. Oh, you talking about uh with Queen Leora when she was talking about how um she told him Her to stay friend. away, stay away from the and guy. Yeah, she kept going back. Yeah, she kept going back, and then he they found him dead. Mm-hmm. 
Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they found him dead. Yeah, yeah, but she was saying, like, you have to listen to the signs that God gives you. Because if you don't, like, she was like, God was telling her to leave him alone. And, and she, she wouldn't, wouldn't. And he eventually passed away. Not that God, you know, Did took his that, life. Yeah. But he but... was trying to get her away from him so she wouldn't have to experience his death. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you have to pay attention to the signs that God gives you because he was a bad person to her, essentially. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, like, obviously him passing away was already in his cards. But I feel mm-hmm. like stuff like that when you're dating somebody, we don't do the toxic stuff around here no more. I think no we were in our more. 20s. Not no more. Oh, yeah, I used to be very toxic. But don't you think it's interesting that, like, mm. I, I always hear this narrative, especially from women, that it's like they like the bad boy growing up or they like the toxic, but then it gets to an age where they're like, we don't want that no more. What mm-hmm. what switched? What changed for you to... I think for me, it was like, when we're young, we think, oh, if a guy is arguing with you or if he's jealous and yeah. telling you, we equate that to love. And we're like, oh, he care about me so much and this and that. And it's just like, no, he don't, girl. He just doing it just because. Like, yeah. or he's just toxic himself or needs to heal himself. I've heard that. That's not what love is. But we feel like, oh, he told me not to go outside, girl. He loved me. Girl, he's telling you not to go outside because he outside with his side, bitch. Yeah. I don't know. For me, I just feel like when I was younger, I just didn't take relationships that serious. Like, I wasn't looking for anything, like, long term. Mm. I think as I've gotten older, now I realize I actually really do want marriage. Like, I actually really do want to have a family mm. dynamic. And when I was younger, it just wasn't something I prioritized. You know, when you say that, yeah, did you mm-hmm. find it weird with men? So that like you'd say you're not on something serious, but then they always wanted something serious. Always. Yeah. yeah like, women I say that all the time. I'm always. Like, and I just wasn't ready for that. Like, it's a few guys that I dated when I was younger where I'm like, damn, we probably could have really been like a good couple or been in a good situation, but I just wasn't ready for what they were ready for at the time. And I think women don't really talk. I think a lot of the time people always assume it's the man yeah. that's never ready to be in like a long-term situation, but there's actually a lot of women who are not ready for commitment either. What's good? Is, is, it, is it a fair thing or is it just, I'm just not ready. I still want to live life. I think for me, it was all, it was always like FOMO. Like, fear of missing out. Hey, the table like, just catching me goes yeah, outside, you know? I always thought when I was younger, like, no matter who I dated, how amazing he was, whatever he had going on, how great our relationship and our connection was, I just always felt like, damn, it's probably somebody better, though, out there. And if I'm just with you, then I'm missing out on it. That's how I used to feel. And that's fucked up, but, like, it's the truth. Boy, living your truth, man. Yeah. Nice. No, listen, I think, I think if you, can you answer the question? What do you mean? So the question that you asked them, can you answer it as men? What question to ask? Because <laughs> I had an answer. I swear it was you who asked no, the question. No, you asked the question. You said something. You were saying something about like, it's something about being younger and not no, wanting no. to, oh, like, yeah, women I... not wanting to settle down. Yeah, but it was, it was about the whole bad boy phase. I ain't never gone oh, through yeah. a bad boy phase. No, before. no, no, no. <laughs> but as in the girls wise. As in, you've I've definitely. N- I've never gone through a bad girl phase. You've never dated a girl that you know is bad for you, but she's got cheeks or something like that. Oh, she's yeah. No, that's not the same thing. No, I'm, I'm saying, do you reach a point where you grow out of it or do you just, you just don't care? I don't think you grow Because for out... me, safety is a big thing. Yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. Grow, I don't think you grow out of the cheeks. You just grow out of the... The location. <laughs> I'm no, but I'm talking about the location. No matter what. No, no, no. But I'm, talking about, but I'm talking about the location of not... the cheeks. So there's certain areas I'm not going to no more. Whereas when I was younger, I'll, oh, yeah, 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 I'll, yeah. I'll try and sneak and it's like, nah, my yeah, safety yeah, yeah. comes first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then there's certain girls I wouldn't invite to my house. Right. Yeah. Whereas before, I might have risked, risked it because it's like, yeah. mm, nah, I'm, nah, you can't come to If you live with your parents, when you invite someone to your house, you got to take that into consideration. There's a level of respect that they're not going to bring nonsense to your door. And mm. it's serious. But You're assuming you, that. No, no, but more times. But when you live by yourself... There's a bit more freedom. You can just come home and she's just waiting by your door. <laughs> I'm mm-hmm. weak. And you're like, uh-huh. But if your mom or dad's in, she's not really going to do that unless she's oh, really no. crazy. Oh, I was yes. real crazy. I TP my boyfriend house in high school. What's TP? What's TP? Like, like, when you, you know, like throw toilet, toilet paper, paper all over the house and we did silly string on the house and all that. What? And you got to really do it the night before it rains. No, but yes. why? Because it's hard he to pick up. He ain't cheating on me. How much toilet roll was Huh? You're just there running around the house with toilet roll. Well, yeah. no, you gotta we throw it up in the it. tree. Yeah, you gotta throw it and in the tree. And it'll get caught on a branch. And it gets caught and it'll... everywhere. Oh, is this a thing? Yeah, yeah in high school oh, it was. We don't, we, well, we don't do that. Yeah, okay. yeah we, it would be bad. Like, Y'all a little get too mad. conservative, you know. We a little yeah, yeah. We, I wild and rambling. The wildest thing is, is like an egg in your window or something. <laughs> yeah, or, or like, like bursting a tire or something, cutting a tire. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I've heard that. Putting sugar in your tank. No. Like a candy bar in the tank? Candy bar in the tank. 
Because the you gotta get a whole new engine. Right, you know what? I'm not gonna do. No, no, no. no, no I don't want to belittle no, cheating. Yeah. No, tell you, over so- there, the, the, the <laughs> level of I can't say aggression. That's the wrong word. But the level of like. Pettiness is crazy no, over you there. Cheated, mm-hmm. No, I hear you, but that's like when I was younger. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. When I was younger, yeah, women used to say, "Yeah, but you cheated on me," so I did this. I'm like, Why are you so angry? What, yeah. what do you mean? Whereas now, no, no, now I get it. It's, it's like it's a, it's the highest form of betrayal, bro. No, it but, is. Yeah. Nah, so someone, if a woman cheats on me, am I allowed to put a uh, candy bar sneakers it's, it's in her tank? I mean, to. do you? I boo? understand <laughs> if you did <laughs> that. No, but it's what, yeah, I thought you were grown out of this. I thought, we've, I thought we've grown I out of this. No, no, for you. Do you do you boo? Do that right now. So for her to cheat on you, that's fucked up. Yeah, it's true, it's true, it's true. You gotta do what you don't want. You hear that thing? What did you say? I didn't hear that part. I think that's such a nice guy. Like, why would she cheat on me? You hear that? Why is he not? Because what? Because he's wearing seven. Why is he a nice guy? Because he's wearing seven. No, but I don't know why you said he's a nice guy. This is burnt orange. Oh, it's... Huh? Are you yeah. sure? I don't know. I'm just... mm. <laughs> well, I mean, you seem like a nice guy too. Like, no, I but feel why? Like... I'm, I'm just asking why. See, I'm asking for both of us. No, no, no. You ask for yourself. I'm taking that. Well, I'm not you can't saying. Just take it, I can't take it. Well, look, this is what I didn't say. I didn't say y'all don't seem like y'all would cheat. I just said y'all seem nice. Because mm-hmm. I was I don't like, know, you just no never, I feel like you never know. <laughs> I don't so know what you y'all are. You never I'm know. I just met y'all. I don't know what it's giving. <laughs> you yeah. like I like that though. I like that. She, she, she but what? see, she seemed like a nice girl, but she be cheating. Oh, wow. not no more though. Oh. I knew you was gonna say that. You do. But let me say, this is why I did used to cheat. I she used did. To, I did in my twenties. I did. Yeah. But I will say, like, how you were saying a lot of times, like, you, I would meet guys that wanted to be more serious. Because yeah. I always have, like, when I was younger, I would date older guys. Mm-hmm. So they always wanted something serious. And I'd be like, this is not what I want. And they'd be like, yeah. man, they would just do more and more to try to change my mind. I'd be like, okay, why not? Let's get in a relationship. You want to be in a relationship. But I'm going to go outside still. Yeah, see, I'm not mad at that. Because remember, I, I do say... I, I'm going to go outside still. No, no, no. See, I, don't mind I, it. No, no, no. It's not, it's not like that's what I don't do. Mind but, it. like... Once you sign the, da- once you believe... sign the papers... <laughs> Did she signed the papers, though. She's a you know, they, they know what they signed she, up she for. She's in a relationship. She signed no, no, the papers. No, no, no. You know, you know, listen to what she's saying, yeah. please. Say that again. He knows what he signed up for. He knows what he signed up for. No, no, no. He, he, he doesn't know. I'm saying that's what she said. He doesn't know. Yes, exactly. he does. He doesn't know. I was, if I'm First like 24. No, if I was like 24 and 25, and yeah. the guy, one of the guys I was dating at the time, he was like 36. Mm. Why are you trying to be in a serious relationship with a 24-year-old who works at the club? I'm telling you I don't want to be X, Y, Z. Was he telling you to come out of the club? No. He, I mean. No, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. it was like, but, he but wanted to... But I think he was thinking to himself, like, he's trying to lock you down. So it's one of those yeah. ones where, if you're saying no, it's different. But the moment you say, all right, let's give it a go, he's thinking, yes, like, we're going to try. And then you're like... Because no. I fall in love. I'll be like, okay, we can be in love. Me and I... But I'm going to be outside too. And oh. I think men like to date girls. Like, if you're 36 and you're dating a 24-year-old, I feel like you want to date them because, like, they're impressionable. <laughs> you can mold them. Yeah. <laughs> He's telling her not to go outside. She's still going outside. Like, <laughs> she's not listening. I feel like a girl in her 30s not, not going to play this yeah, shit with you. Yeah, I was you. the wrong one to try to do that too, though, because I've always been a very strong-minded person, but she's definitely right. Men, when they... Older men love younger women. I yeah. feel like when I see an older man dating a younger woman, it gives me vibes like, because you can't handle a woman that's your age. Mm-hmm. Is that an... Is that an um, I don't want to say it's, is it an American thing, but I saw it in America, yeah, mm-hmm. this video this morning, yeah. A comedian would ask the woman, how mm. old is she? Mm-hmm. Um, well, who she with? Sorry, she's with a guy who was 45. Mm-hmm. He asked her, how old are you? She said 23. So he started doing the, oh. he started doing the maths. He's yeah. Like, so where did you meet kind of thing? I think they met on Facebook. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So the guy, the comedian, he was like, Facebook? At 20, but they've been married for four years already. Yeah. Jeez. So 19, got married no 19. So he's like, oh, wow, you could yeah. just gone, back, gone back one picture, you would have saw graduation. <laughs> gone back one picture. Oh, like, my you God. You would have saw college. Like, yeah. what? But, they, but they're laughing about it. And the guy stood up and he bowed to the crowd. Like, he was proud. He got mm-hmm. one. So That's I think so weird. the perspective of certain older men is like, I don't think they think they can get younger women. So when they do, they celebrate. Yeah. yeah. You know what but I mean? they also have this narrative like, oh, if a woman is in her 30s or 40s and she's single, she's used goods and so we got to get something young. It's very weird. A lot of men have that you mentality. Know what? I'm not it's lie to very, you. very but strange. You know, I'm you lot are sharing your information, yeah. Do you not feel like sometimes, I'm not saying you can't speak your truth, mm-hmm. but I feel like there should be a level of investment before you offload onto me and vice versa. Mm. So when, when you say, when men say, women's baggage or it's just information yeah I don't need to know that you slept with however many guys I don't need to know that yeah. but when you're saying it you can see how it would add up because you're older right so it's not, yeah. a, it's not necessarily a big deal but it's just when you're in your 30s and 40s and you're talking about oh I slept with 50 guys it's like 
I didn't but, need well, to know that. Well, first of all, you shouldn't be offering up that type of information. Information, no, no way. way. Yeah. That's I, crazy. Like, women really do that on, like, listen, the first on, few on days. Da- I remember when I, when I joined dating apps, yeah, for example. Yeah. yeah. And before, it was just name, age, and location. Right. Not ASL. Recently, I've seen, yeah, <laughs> no niggas that buy Casamigos, only da 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 In the bio? In the bio. We oh, y'all wild. you know from the jump. I'm not going to want to slide into your DMs yeah. after reading all of these bullet points. And I just feel like women feel like, yeah, we have to give this information because we want to, we want you to know from the jump. But sometimes it's just a bit It's a bit much. much. And but what I'm, kind of criteria is that? No niggas uh-huh. that buy Casamigos. Uh, you, it, you talking you like that? I actually like a little Casamigos myself. Like <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Right. <laughs> like, I'm just like, sometimes I do think the criteria that women have these days is a little crazy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. some of the things that they be demanding, it's like, okay, you're demanding this, but like... Ooh, I hate to be that girl, but mm, they're like, gonna call you a pick me. That's fine, you know, whatever, because I got picked. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pew, See, pew, that's pew, what you need to sound So, I just feel like, uh, some of the stuff is just like, okay, you're requiring all of these things, but like, what do you do? Right. What do you got? Right. Like, what do you have going on? Why he can't do X, Y, and Z? But like, what what are you doing? What mm-hmm. are you offering up? Yeah. I don't know. It's just a little weird. I feel like you shouldn't be demanding certain stuff if you can't like match it. Yeah. Uh, I like that you're saying it because if we said it now, yeah. no, I'll say it. Coming it. from us next. <laughs> I mean, but we used to we used to be, and I only say this from a place of like that's why I don't care if like people be like, oh, pick, she being a pick me, whatever. I feel like me and Lex came from a place where we used to be those girls. Be those girls. Oh, like, we used to be like, oh, and got to do X, Y, and Z. He got a, yeah. Whole time, I got $50. That's oh, more me. Oh. You had you know more than me. Like, like, you're one of them girls who <laughs> was telling me <laughs> that, uh, you're, you're staying with your friend on holiday. These times, there's seven of you in your room. Oh, you no, absolutely not, baby. Y'all yeah, always have my own. Bro, what one, happened to you? One was? hotel room, <laughs> you know, four on the same double bed. Ooh, now that's Whoa. crazy. No, but you $50 was, that, that, was a joke. I had more than 50, busted. but I definitely wasn't like... <laughs> more than 60 but I definitely just wasn't like on my shit you know like yeah. I wasn't on my shit for what I was requiring from yeah, the from me the that I did you know, even as a man you can't, there's certain demands you can't make if you ain't got the bread Yeah, you can't yeah. be saying she's got to do this she's got to do this she got to do yeah. this and it's like big man what's in your bank account what you doing yeah. he How said you big look? man yeah. Yeah. but I was honest we actually have an ongoing joke on poor minds I used to be like I got three dollars like don't she did used to say but that I was, I, cause I used to be going around the world I, I had a man take me on a first date to Paris mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wonderful time. I had three dollars in my bank account, from and I was where? having a ball. Where are you from in America? Sorry, uh, I lived in Houston for ten years, but I'm from a small city called Orange, Texas, and okay. I'm from Houston. Yeah, so um, I was living in Houston at the time, and we had a mutual friend. He was like, "Hey, I want to take you to Paris," and I was like, "Okay." So we went to Paris, mm-hmm. and I had three dollars in my bank account. Oh, so that means on that holiday there was none of this. I'll get this for this part, as in like, as in you're willing to pay for a bit. What you mean? As in, for, as in so for like the whole, were you offering to for pay the whole for trip? Oh, I couldn't offer that's what, I'm what? Saying, that's what I'm saying. So we could try, though. <laughs> no, no, you can't with three dollars. Why would I even try though? Because what if he took me up on that offer? And it okay, well, okay. So, but in, okay, in that situation, yeah. Obviously, this is a mind long time you. Ago. I was young before yeah, y'all yeah, be in yeah, the yeah, comments no, going no, crazy. No, you was young. You was young. I was young. But like, what if something went wrong? You gonna pray? <laughs> That's all you know. But I always say this. I say, let me went through that, so you wouldn't have to go through that. I will say. It was a vetting process, though. It wasn't like a random man I just met and we went to Paris. Oh, okay. We okay, had okay. a mutual friend. We were talking on the phone, texting. It was like we had developed a very strong relationship. You know what mm. I'm saying? And I think he knew, like, I was working at a little bullshit job at the time. I was still kind of bartending. So he knew, like, you know what I'm saying? He like, knew he had three dollars. Like, he knew, yeah, he knew I he had three dollars. Yeah, he yeah. knew. But, you know, you know, when you look good, when you look a certain way, you got away with a lot of different yeah, things. Yeah, you know, yeah. I think now... Yeah. Because this was like, what, 2016? When you went to Paris? Yeah, yeah, this was like 2016, 2017. But I feel like in that short amount of time, though, things are different now. Mm-hmm. Like, men are... It used to be you could just be a baddie. And that was it. Baddie with good conversation. That's all you had to be. Now, the guys kind of got put up on game because y'all opened y'all mouth too much, ladies. And y'all started talking no, 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 too hey, much. Hey, 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 
Hey, yeah, hey, don't do that. Don't do all of that. No, no. They did, Let us learn. Let I us go, learn. I God bless you, women. I did, though. Put us on game. I like. Yeah, so now. They started talking too much. And then the girls that's really not moving. Well, because I feel like now y'all feel like y'all getting played. Yeah. Because girls don't start talking too much. No, no, no. No, we got standards now. No, no, it's not even that. We knew we'll get it. Do you know what it is? Sometimes, sometimes you knew you were getting no, played. No, sometimes no, they're getting played. He said, I like getting played. <laughs> like, do you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's like, no, 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 no. It, it, don't make a man feel when that when way. It's when we're, to when we're, bought, yeah, when we're but bartering. But I feel like prior, y'all didn't, prior, y'all didn't think that it was transactional, though. Yeah, because, because the cheeks was just, the cheeks was getting offered. No, no, we, we, no, the thing is we knew, but it's like, because if I might be on a date with a girl, I'm paying, then we're, we're vibing, we're vibing. That's mm-hmm. cool, but I think... It's true what you said, I think. When women start coming online and saying, yeah, you paying my bills. Yeah. Blah, yeah. Blah. So guys start thinking, oh, but you like, me? Oh, yeah. 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 It's it's half of them are lying, it, 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 it a couple of men that, hold on. <laughs> but half of them are lying, though. I'm paying their bills. Oh, exactly. Okay, how many girls' bills have you paid? None. Exactly. No, but that's not. How that's many a, have you paid? Mean. None. This is my point. That no. we're not paying bills. No, so but Bernardo. Yeah, uh-uh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-uh. See, that's why I, I said don't this trust is, them. This is my yes. point. I told you I don't trust them. So y'all them. ain't never even paid a bill. Like, wait, wait. In your house, I don't sleep in. Yeah, like, no. okay. What Why is this conversation come up? Mickey, 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 Let's reverse me, engineering. Me, me, because it's 31 days this, well, wait, wait, wait. 30 days this month, yeah? Me oh pay your bill. God. I don't know what dudes sliding through on Tuesday. Dudes using my life. <laughs> Listen, let's yeah. reverse, let's reverse engineer it, please. Okay. Like, I always wanted to know, yeah? How does the conversation start? with this guy that ends up paying your bills. Mm, okay. Like how does he get your details in order to set up that direct debit is what I want to know. So for me, it wasn't ever a conversation. Like it was more so the guy, but that goes into like a whole nother topic of like men wanting to be controlling and have control and all of that. Um, Somebody that I was dating, I was working in the club at the time. I was like a waitress. Yeah. So this was like when I was like 25, 26. He wanted, he didn't want me to work in the club anymore. So he was like, That's why I was thinking, that's why I asked you. About. Yeah. He yeah. was like, yeah. you know, he was like, why are you working here? You ain't gotta work here. Like, I got money. I'm I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Like, what are you doing? Like, I'm gonna take care of you. Oh, so, so I'm so like, you started doing all of that. Okay. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. But then again, you know, it's a lot that came with that yeah, situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then fast forward, like me getting older and now being in like a serious relationship, my man was just kind of like, like, I'm gonna just pay, you know, I'm gonna just pay your rent. Did this guy become your man? This yeah, this is my man. Oh, your man, the same guy. Yeah, well, no, no it's, it's a, a different, different guy. No, I'm different the guy. first guy. The first guy was my man too. Yeah, oh, okay, but cool, cool, cool. but okay. he had, you know, I was one of his many. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I think it's a little different. Like when you're in a relationship with somebody, like it's okay to do nice things for them, or if they need help. Because I, in my situation, it was kind of like, do you need anything? And I'm like, yeah, because like shit is hard right now. Like. And I needed help. So he was like, well, let me help you. Like, because he saw, like, one thing about me, (laughs) I wasn't like a person that's like, oh, well, you got to do this. You got to do that. I'm going to go to work. I've been working since I was 16. That's one thing about it. I'm not a girl that just sits at home and be expecting a handout. Mm -hmm. I'm going to always go to work. But it's like, if you see me working and doing my thing, you see, like, I'm stressed and I'm kind of, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, let me help you out. Let yeah. me help you out this month. You need something. Yeah, I mean, Stuff I, like that. No, what you laughing at? No, see, that's a bad man. See, you talking about he's sweet. See, I told see, you see, can't trust no nigga. Come nibble. on, come on. Not a bad can't, man. Yeah, come on. <laughs> no, I I'm, told I'm, you. I'm I'm no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking yeah. as the listeners who are probably having conversations with women that they like right now and the women are messaging them complaining about working 12, 15 hour shifts. I'm just thinking about their responses. I'm about to swear. Oh, no. See, I wasn't complaining, no, though. Because I know that's what girls do. They go, about. oh. No, that's what I'm so stressed. That's what, that's what I'm so how do you go from life so stressed to can you pay my light bills? No, 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 no it issue. wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. They just be like, hey, what you doing? I'm like, man, I just got finished with work. I'm finna eat. Like, I got to go to work in the morning. Yeah, like, conversation. He'd be like, "You are you good? You straight? You need something? So if you ask me if I need something, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Well, you can help me out with this this month. I think that's the part where I'm. I'm struggling with because, like you said, there's a difference between US girls and UK girls. Okay. I don't see UK girls What's saying I need something. Oh. If, if they're very if, proud, if you're not my man. Yeah. I'm saying, oh, okay. They're, they're not just gonna say that to a guy that they they've, so, they've been so, cinema with twice. So. Oh, American girls gonna be. They yeah, know. I will say that. American girls will they beg. Gonna be. They will beg. <laughs> They be big. No, they be big. Are they gonna drop a hint on the first date? Like they gonna be like. Wait, wait. Are you nodding? Because you dinner. agree. <laughs> Yeah. And then at dinner, they're going to be like, first day. Oh, my God. I'm no, so stressed. Yeah. You're going to be like, why? 
I just got so many bills coming up. Like, I just got so... I'm telling you, I hurry up and eat. We got to hurry up and eat because I got to go. You know we got to hurry up and eat. You know what I would do? I look at the phone and be like... irritated. <laughs> I thought mom, I'm like, why is it going to tell me you got so many bills to pay? I'm like, bro, bro, I don't know. <laughs> like, what? Why are you I'm telling, telling me you got so many bills to pay? Yeah, I, I, don't I don't know, do that. girl. I don't do that either, but I know a lot of girls like that, especially yeah. in Atlanta, like, yeah. so that's where why we I'm, live. That, that's why I'm laughing. Because yeah. I'd look at that message and be like, boy, if, if, if I feel like in order, the way I respond to this message will determine whether our friendship continues. Mm. Yeah. Then we might as well just cut ties now. Yeah. If a girl, I'm going to tell y'all right now, if y'all ever get a text from a girl that say, I'm so stressed, just don't block ask. her. Don't just ask. Don't ask why. Why. <laughs> All you got to do is say, damn, that's crazy. Say, damn. <laughs> 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 damn. I'm going right. to pray for you. <laughs> Send the praying hand emojis. <laughs> <laughs> Things will be all right. Don't worry, man. Keep, keep your head up, man. Keep your head up. <laughs> Keep, keep your head, head up, up, bro. It's going to get better. There's, there's light at the end of the tunnel, man. Just keep going. Keep going. Well, you'll get there. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. So I guess that's, that's why I'm a, I would say I'm a bad guy. I don't respond to... You know... I would, I would, but what if you're in a relationship, If I'm in a relationship, that's different. That's, that's different, what I'm saying. That's different. Yeah. Relationship, that's different. Yeah. yeah. yeah but I feel like in a relationship, it's different, though. It's just like... It's we. You're hope, yeah, it's we. You're helping each other out. Like, there's ups and downs. But it's just when it's a certain level of relationship and then... You do the whole, oh my God, I'm so stressed. <laughs> you're like, well, what's going on? So now, thinking, why you had to do our accent when you did that? <laughs> that was not a UK accent. No, but it's like, I'm saying, because America Oh my right? God, I'm so stressed. But in a lot of these women's defense, they're used to men leading with money. A lot of times men will lead with money because they feel like, oh, what can I buy her to convince her to talk yeah, to me? Yeah, that's true. So I feel like a lot of times if you're leading with money, what do you expect? Because a lot but, but, of men do that. But you know, it's, sorry, Tate, you know, it's a vicious circle, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a cycle, sorry, because... If a guy leaves with his money, there's a certain level of there's a certain level that he's gonna be in this relationship mm. because he believes I've paid my way, I can do what I want. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah. So yeah. though girls are accepting the money, it's good. It comes with like a standard of like disrespect. Yeah, dismissal. As in like I've paid your thing. Don't yeah. worry, man. I can do what I want. Mm-hmm. So your it caps how you complain, mm-hmm. what things you can do because he's paid the money. Whereas if it's a bit different, you've got a bit more. That mouth to speak. That's and those, a bit those situations don't for mean sure me because I know it's capped. You just don't realize yet. Yeah, mm. so I know it's capped. Yeah, I know guys like that. You think you're about to get an a LV bag or a Chanel? Ask him. That's- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and in some situations, you will get the LV or the Chanel. But like he said, like you don't have no voice or you don't have no place to speak on certain shit. Like, he could just kind of do what he want to do because I'm buying you the LB. Yeah. I'm buying you the Chanel. I'm paying the rent. Like, and, you, and you might not speak because you don't want to lose the next Chanel or the next mm-hmm. LB. Because yeah. if you don't have it yourself, then, like, what you going to do? You going to pay I that I think a tab. lot of the time women don't... That's the thing as a woman. You, It's so important to, like, have your own money, which mm. I think we always speak yes. on now. Because if you look back at our old videos, we very much used to be like, oh, you got to get this and this from niggas. Whole time ain't have Going no viral. Shit. Going viral as well. Going viral. Well, yeah. back then, not so much. <laughs> no, we not wasn't so much. even going viral. Even going we viral. was just talking shit. <laughs> we were just talking shit. But I did have my boyfriend at the time. Like, he was paying my bills and shit. So I felt like I had a voice to, like, yeah, speak yeah. on certain shit. But I wasn't really getting no money of my own. Mm-hmm. And then it got to a point to where we got in like a fucked up situation and he didn't want to pay for shit no more. And I'm like, damn, it sucks to like not have your own income. But luckily, I always was the type of girl where he would give me a lot of money and I would just save it. So when we would be on bad terms, I would still be able to like pay my bills. But it's still a bad situation to be in when you don't have no income of your own. Yeah. Like this is all still money that I got from a man, yeah. you know? So it's nothing like having your own income, having your own career because if you tired of somebody and you don't want to deal with certain shit, you don't have to. Mm-hmm. When I was younger, I can honestly say it was a lot of shit that I dealt with that me now at 33 as a business owner, as somebody who makes my own money and is successful, I'm not dealing with that shit. Like, nigga, you can get the fuck on. Right, yeah. So now you know how we feel. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean Finally. I love it. <laughs> like that's how me and me feeling y'all whole like. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking since sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> From early, man. Yeah, we remember, we've had that money from the beginning. I remember the beginning, and then in, in, in we're trying to impress. For example, like you said, it goes back to the whole cycle. Yeah. At 16, 17, you're trying to impress women your age, but yeah. they're looking at men who are 24, 25. Mm-hmm. And it's mm-hmm. like. This is a cheat code. He's yeah. got nine years on me. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a car. There's nothing I can this. do to impress you. I'm on the bus. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're, you're able to attract these men. All right, cool. So you just learn. And then when you get to 24, 25, you realize, oh, 
I get it now, but then it's for the man to be like, you know what, I'm gonna stay here. Because mm-hmm. you know, there's certain guys that will say, um, you ask them a question like, would you do this? And normally they respond with, if I had a certain amount in my account. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's just a certain type of freedom that you have when yeah. you know. Then I got like, it. Like when you were in Paris, account. for example, mm-hmm. if you had money, you probably might have been able to call the shots more. Mm-hmm. I want to go here. I want to go here. Whereas, because you know you had three dollars, like wherever you're taking me, I'm going. <laughs> I was just happy to be there. I was like, these are my three dollars. You know, Instagram. Yeah, like, but then I was on Instagram <laughs> stunt too. <laughs> Yeah, three. To, hey, I had a ball in my twenties. That's why I always I say, too. live Can't and have lie. fun. I think things are a little different now. Like I said, I don't tell. I definitely don't recommend you know people going out the country on the first day. That's not what I'm saying. With three dollars, with three dollars, don't highly. I mean, I have traveled the world with three dollars in my twenties. Had a great time. <laughs> She did. I'm not saying no to do that. She went to Dubai too. I had I had a ball in Dubai. Lit, imagine, Tate, you know, I, was, I said it. If you flip the scenario, imagine if guys were treated like women in terms mm-hmm. of like a girl ringing you, say, we didn't tomorrow. Nah, and you know, we're going to go to Paris. Paying for everything. Eh? <laughs> I ain't got to do nothing. <laughs> Listen, you're there. Butter. Heathrow with the, with, the, <laughs> with the luggage like that. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, we can't because as a man, like you'll be like, no, 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 like unless no, it's on my, the first day, unless it's my brother. As long as my girl yeah, or yeah, someone yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. random. But even then, if you're gonna when you go holiday, you'll still pay for stuff anyway. Yeah. You can't pay for the whole holiday. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'll still pay for this, pay for the hotel, maybe pay for this. Whereas like imagine us being comfortable, just like Has there been a time where you thought, oh, oh, wait, come on, babes, you're not gonna try and pay for something? Yeah, it's bad times. <laughs> bad times. <laughs> I think it's That's crazy, why they though. said the WNBA players need to start getting contracts like the NBA. Yeah, because y'all like, gonna start getting flued out. <laughs> yeah, they was like, I'll, y'all let Angel, y'all would let Angel Reese like fly y'all, y'all out. Fly, well, they, y'all know who Angel no, Reese is? Yeah, 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 but she wouldn't slide in my DMs though. Yeah, yeah. No. She, you How never you know? know. No, I just feel like, do you know what? I don't. I'll be do, honest do, with wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. Do, wait, do, so wait. do you slide in DMs? I, I'm Hell flat, no. Fly do that. That's what I'm saying. No. So for me, no, no, no. The reason why, yeah, because and it's it's based on experience. All the girls that I know that are. Attractive mm-hmm. okay. or, or nice to look at, should yeah. I say? They ain't doing They that. ain't sliding in no girls' DMs. Well, the reason DMs. I said, and let me That's say this fair. Angel Reese is beautiful. The only reason I said she might slide, because I don't know her personally. Because some women, you'll see the most beautiful women in the world, and they're like, I'm confident. I go after what I want. Yeah. Me, I'm just, they I've never sliding, been that way. Bro. I'm not sliding. I've never slid in a man's DMs in my life. I'm a little more conservative. Yeah, I don't like that. that. Yeah. If, we, if we conservative in one way, <laughs> we ain't sliding in no DMs. We ain't so sliding so in no for DMs. Me, when, when, if a girl that's very attractive slides in my DM, I'm I'm cautious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's you like, normal. what's wrong? What's yeah. wrong? Something wrong, something wrong <laughs> yeah. with yeah. the pussy. Like, 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 Hello? <laughs> who who, who sent you? Who sent you here? Who sent you And also, you don't want to interact in case you're getting pranked or... Yeah, yeah. Too thirsty. <laughs> got him. Got him. Got him. That's a relax thing, man. It's a joke. Man. I like it. Oh. Oh. Thirsty. So, Next thing you know, you it three takes long. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're already in the car. It takes long. And it, the women are like, why is he so difficult? Why is he so stiff? I didn't know it was you, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, wor- that's the worst <laughs> one, you know. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all know. like when women slide in your DMs? I just, I just don't find it believable. So mm. I, I, I promise you. I okay. rather do, do, move to me in my face, face to face. No, I don't, yeah. I don't mind the DMs, but the you know, DMs but, is like. But the, the different, I think when women move to you in your DMs, it's very hard to differentiate whether they're being friendly or <laughs> rude. No, no, or they're moving to you mm-hmm. because they'll just lol at your some of your jokes or your tweet. I mean, sorry, your stories. It's not really like an aggressive. Oh like, yeah, I've I someone... like you. Oh. It's more like see this, and, and I'm glad you said that because like if I laugh at your story. That don't mean nothing. That's what I'm saying, but because you'll laugh at a nigga, so he be like, "Oh shit, well, what you doing tomorrow?" Huh? Yeah, but how do we get here? Yeah, but no, but that same gesture but to some... a guy that you like, huh? you're gonna that same gesture to a guy that you're attracted to, a guy that you like, or a guy that you're speaking to. He's gonna see that as, "Oh, you find me funny." No, but tell you, mm. but, there's, but there's, there's some girls that are moving to you, and that is their gesture. That's their. So, so it's, it's just, confusing, just, just yeah. to but break we always the ice. say girls ain't got no game. Okay, so That's what, what saying. Saying. women don't have game? That's what I'm saying. So because they haven't got game like that, you're doing lol. So I'm like. Well, every story. What well, this one even a funny one? Do you know what I'm saying? I'm weak. So, you're like, <laughs> but, so you're like, hey, Mama, is she trying it? Is it? So you, you're talking. Like, you use too much data here, she man. She was like, God is good. <laughs> oh my God, he's so crazy, girl. God is good. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. What, what if y'all at a bar? What if y'all at a bar and a girl sends you a drink? What would you do? The only thing is, yeah, the, the reason why that's difficult, yeah, is because and then you look over and she like, what up? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm leaving. If she's not attracted. I'm leaving. What's up, bruv? No, but <laughs> what? 
What's up, mate? Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> What's up, mate? <laughs> it might just be. <laughs> I and drink, she was I, fine though. You were walking over there. I was not drinking it though. I want to drink it. I'll definitely pour it out. Oh my God. God. I want to pour it out. I'm, wow. He's like, why was you pouring it out? No, technically, you're supposed what to What is going on in London? 2024. I don't know what's going on there, man. No, but why are you sending me a drink though? This is what I'm saying. This is fine. What's in this drink, man? What kind of life are y'all living? No, it's just not their behavior here. Yeah, yeah. Girls are doing that. It looks suspicious. Well, I'm you... telling y'all, I like y'all are attractive guys. Yeah. Y'all have accents. Like if y'all came to America, y'all I mean, that's normal that, here. No, no, I'm you're saying in America, in America <laughs> you don't hear these accents a lot. That's what I'm saying, y'all. If y'all went to America I'm in, I'm and y'all in the club time, in Houston, he's been there 18 times this year already. He knows. <laughs> he knows. He loves the USA. He knows. <laughs> he's been there. He knows. Look, look Not he party in the USA. To be an American. Come on. I'm pledge allegiance, bro. You got me. Why are they flying you out? Huh? Why are they flying you out? Is that what you're getting so much? Are they flying you out? No. I'm, I'm just wondering. He didn't get blew out. He just lied. No. You know, yeah? No, no, no. If I'm going through that, I'll be there more. Oh, okay. I know that's right. But I'm saying in a minute, like, nice. well, like exactly. if y'all went to the club and y'all are going out, I do not be surprised if a yeah. woman sends you a drink. It's very common in the States. Oh, is it? I'm telling you, all this money talk is funny and it's good for content, but in America, you're going to more likely find or the average couple, mm -hmm. the woman is paying the bills. You'll find a man that really doesn't have much and a woman is really taking care of him, especially so, so, in the so, black community, yeah, for sure. sure. So wait, well, in America, of course. Yeah. So why is that, um, why are women okay with that? Just, just wondering. Because you, you know what? Because uh, a lot of women, I will say this, uh, we want that partnership so bad especially in our community, they teach us like, oh, if you're not married by a certain age. Oh, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you have to have, they make us feel like you have to have a man or you're nothing. Yeah. yeah. So, rather 30, than be alone, no rather than be alone, they will take a, the broken, mm -hmm. most abusive, horrible man because that's, having a man is better than being single. That's crazy, oh, though. Okay. I'm telling you. Oh, no, you, so, you mean in terms of the mentality? mentality. Yes. Yeah. But the mentality. Oh. Culture, that's, that's the way it's taught to us over there. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, if you hit 30 and you're not married and you don't have kids, like, what are you doing? They be like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. And what's wrong with her? And more so, I would say, like, in the black community, it's a little bit different because I feel like white people in America, they're, like, groomed a certain way. So, like, a lot of them, they get married to, like, their high school sweethearts, their college 18, sweethearts. 18, 19. They're walking down the aisle. 20, you already know who you marry. Yeah. And you already married, and by 25, you probably got two kids already. Yeah. In the black community, it's a little bit different because a lot of families, I feel like, grow up, you know, in single parent households. They see their parents struggling or they see their mom struggling as a single mom. And so as young black girls in America, you're raised to be like independent. independent yep. You need to be independent. You need to get your own money. And if you start dating a man and he can't do it, that's why I think a lot of the mentality in America, if you watch a lot of the podcasts and stuff, the girls are like, oh, if a nigga can't do X, Y, and Z for me, I'm mm -hmm. not dating him. Yeah, but, do you, but you see, Sorry to cut you. Um, it's but, okay. <laughs> you see, that mentality that you're speaking of is why I believe there's that age gap. Because mm. men your age can't look after you. Right. Agreed. So if that's what you want, then what and, are we doing? And I think like, also, when I was we're both 18 and you want me to look after you and me. When right. I was, when I was reading yeah. something, I think it was saying that <clears throat> in America, men and women are born at an equal rate. But then by the time they get to college, mm -hmm. it's like, Four women for like one dude. Yeah. Oh, in Atlanta, the ratio like, is even it's, worse. It's, it's like yeah, it's ten women. No, so. it's crazier than that. That the thing that they did it was like twenty something. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. From, and there's a lot of them that from, date from each like, other as well. From death, incarceration. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, some would be like homosexual, whatever. Like the pool by the time they get to that age. There's way more women than men. Whereas in the white communities, that's not the same thing. No, it's so not the same. Be, so there's more men for them to choose. Yeah. So America like, is set like up Tristan's for like, like black people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I got uh, options. The Be percentage of them, it's like, like a 1%. If you find a black man, he makes over $100,000. It's like... He only got one kid or no kid. He only got kids. one kid or no kid. Y'all all going after, say, after describe, the same... Describe it up. Hey. I mean, but y'all <laughs> here. Maybe I'm telling y'all. I told you America, times. Y'all cleaning down. Y'all cleaning up in America. <laughs> He's been there. Y'all you know are cleaning up. Now you're up. saying that, yeah. I'm, I'm starting to question. He's, he's I'm telling you, y'all are cleaning up easy. But it's like, you have to realize all of the women are going after this small pool of men. And that's why I be telling y'all, it's like, 
y'all all can't like the same thing and want the same thing just because you see somebody on the internet talking. And I took the blame for that. I but said, that's because why. We used to be online being like, oh, hey, we got to stop that. We got to be real. <laughs> and I was having a conversation <laughs> with my man one day. And he was just like, also, women got to be realistic. A lot of women have to be realistic with they self that just because they see other girls talking about it, yeah. that don't mean oh, that's going to be for you. I, I, I think that's one of the biggest things. Like I wanted Valentine's to say that, but I'm glad that you said that. If, if you, <laughs> he keep putting it on me. No, no, no. I'm going to be the villain in the comments. Do you know what I knew was bad? <laughs> Marv, Clubhouse. Ooh. What? Shit Clubhouse was a time. Shit up. Listen, they were inviting women to the stage, yeah? And some men to the stage. Yeah, yeah. Then... <laughs> Pound me up to me. <laughs> some of them were speaking, yeah? And I'm like, all right, we're all in our houses, so cool. Let's just accept what everyone's doing. And then they freed us. Yeah. They're looking at some people. They're like, wait, you were the one that was... No, 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 that's what I say. You got to take online with a pinch of salt, man. I'm not going to lie. You. Somebody said this the other day. They said, and I, I hate, it made me Thank so mad you. that they said this, but I was like, mm. they said something like, a lot of y'all's problem is y'all be talking like poor minds and y'all not poor minds. But the thing Ooh. is that People a don't lot, say that a lot. But I, I will say this. You, more, you put a little It's not even about the way. <laughs> more, they want it straight, man. <laughs> more you heavy hands, bro. Sorry, man. I honestly I feel like mine. it's really not the I way you look. Today, sorry. Because you were saying like you would see the people and you're yeah. like, I, it's not about the way you look. Because I see some people that are maybe not traditionally beautiful. Yeah. It's all about the confidence in your finesse game. If a woman yeah. has comp, you can see a woman who's a ten in the looks, yeah. has zero confidence. A man don't want that. Or you can oh, have a woman who's a four, but she got the confidence out this world, and they like that because mm -hmm. the way she walks, yeah, yeah, the yeah. way she carry herself. You want to be around her. She's a good time. I, you know what I'm saying? So I'll it's like it. you no, saying got, that she probably really. You never know. She probably really has men no, doing some, stuff some, for her. Um, you're, you're talking about someone specific. There was a group of people. So when we finally got let out, yeah. and we started looking around, not like, when we finally got let no, out. No, no, yeah. that was locked down you know? longer than us too. Yeah, like listen, it was more strict. Yeah, it was more strict. We for a period where they let us out for a bit, <laughs> and they said, no, 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 no. Back, 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 back in, it was a joke. So it was like, oh, I mean, listen, we was gone. No, but I hear what you're saying, but I feel like with men and women, it's different. The same things you're talking about in terms of being thirty and married and having a man, people looking at you is the same way people look at men for being a certain age and not having a certain amount of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, amount of yeah, agree. So we both got our struggles in yeah. terms of, so guys know, that if, even if guys want to talk to you, they know I've got to come correct because you're not doing well for yourself. Yeah, but you got to come correct anyway. I hear that, but it's, it, it's different. Though, That's true. It's, like, but even no, if she don't, guys, she no, going no, on. No, it's coming correct and then there's looking at a woman that you believe maybe has a different standard or way of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some guys are like... No, but okay, you know what Mark, I'm saying I'm I, not saying it's right or wrong. No, no. I'm saying, but it's a perception. No, I hear you, but at the same time, if for example you pulled up and you hopped out a G wagon, I shouldn't be trying to um, belittle your confidence to make come yeah. to my level because I've got an Audi. No, no, I'm Stay not, in your I, lane. I, I, no, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm saying, no, no, I'm, no, no, I'm just saying, I'm saying that, too, though. No, no, I, that's, that's how I feel. No, Stay but that's in different. Your lane. No, that's different. That's like a dude who's being insecure. That's fine. That's I'm mean, not fine. That's you being there. I'm saying, but a dude might look at you jumping out a G wagon and think she might judge me for being in the Audi. I'm not, but, but I'm just not going to talk saying, to but, you. But, but, oh, Jesus. Ooh. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> but also, no, but, but, no, but also, there's, there's, there's certain guys who drive Audis and have G-Wagon energy. Agreed. It yeah. just depends on how they step to you. It's so true, in my mind, true. it's just like, you don't know until you try. I think successful is successful, right? So if I drive a G-Wagon and you drive an Audi, but... Uh -huh. Audi. An uh, Audi. Audi. <laughs> Audi. Audi. That's oh, Audi. Audi. You said no, because you said, oh. Audi. That's oh. what we call it in the yeah. US, Audi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, serious? What, four, I, the one with the four rings? Yeah, yeah. Audi. 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 What's going on here? Audi. Yeah. <laughs> I just say that nigga in that we black car. Why you say that? <laughs> nigga in that black car. How the four rings. Audi. I think we all say Audi. You don't know say car, though. You don't say vehicle, though. Huh? No, no, we, we say, say car. car. Oh, okay, that, sorry, car. Sorry. that car. That car. That car. Truck. That car, that But yeah, she meant oh, the Audi. That, that Audi. car, that truck. <laughs> that car, that truck. <laughs> but I meant the Audi. Like, so, if I drive a G-Wagon and you drive an Audi, like, and we having conversations, because obviously if we're dating each other, if we've gotten to that point, like, you probably know what realm I'm in. It's, 
as far as like what I'm making and yeah. I know what you're making. So if you make a lot of money and I make a lot of money and we're kind of in the same realm, who cares what the other person drives? Yeah. You know? yeah. I wouldn't judge. If a dude pulled up, even if a dude pulled up on me in an Audi, I wouldn't think he's any less than me. You don't have to be in a G-Wagon. I care about a man being financially stable. I always say that on our show now. You don't have to be super rich because I'm still building. Like, yeah. I'm still growing myself, mm -hmm. you know? So, as long as a man can meet me where I'm at, mm -hmm. then we could date each other. But this sounds like maturity, progression. Yeah, for 20, sure. 20, 25, 26 oh, year old no, you are saying that. you gotta be a millionaire. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah. That's what we're saying. But I'll say this too. I'll say this too. We had a conversation the, uh, the other day, I think like yesterday, and I was like, we were talking about the type of men when you post certain things and what you attract. Yeah. I feel like, I'm not going to lie, this might sound a little bad. I hope nobody takes this out of context, but I've always attracted successful men. Same. I don't even, it's very rare that I've been like on a date with somebody on the first date and I'm like, oh, what do they do? And they're like, oh, I just, you know, work at XYZ and it's some bullshit. Yeah. Every time I'm like, oh, okay, well, he's successful. I've just always attracted that type of man. But there's different types of successful men. Yeah. There are successful men who know, you know what? I want to build something. I want a family. I want a wife. I want this. I want that. I feel like in my 30s, those are the type of men I attract. In my 20s, I was attracting the successful men who were never... Uh, confident and money gave them confidence. So they spend it because they want women around because they never really got women. Yeah. I don't want a man who uses his money as his confidence. You know what I'm saying? Don't like, use that shit as a crazy. Yeah, like, using we, it as a know, crush. Like that. You know what I'm saying? In my 20s, when I was, you know, posting pictures and, you know, the raunchy type pictures and just being outside and being drunk Fishy. and belligerent. Fishing, you fishing, that's what we call it. You fishing for a man. If you see them sexy fishing. photos online, yeah, fishing. when the girl is like in a thong, bent over, and it's no shade, no shade at all. But like, <laughs> like she's fishing for a baller. She wants that blue check in her DMs. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that because I used to do that. But not everybody could buy one, so you don't know. Who right, the ball is. right. But I feel like now I in know, my thirties, it, it's a fucked up with that man. Yeah, you done that? I said, ah, oh, you just mm -hmm. fucked up. Well, you could buy a blue check. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah we, The disclaimer: we, we, we didn't we, buy a blue check. <laughs> My blue tick. Remember when I, I, I got the blue tick? I was like, yes, Taze, we got the blue tick. And now, but then, like two, three years later, you can buy it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love the way it's like, let uh. Let uh. Yeah. Let uh. Yeah. Let uh. 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 Let I mean, well, it start with a key. <laughs> what you gonna say? A, a key <laughs> I'm weak. Oh, uh, you said something about pictures and it made me think about... Yeah, that's it. That's the question. When you see a guy's um, Insta handle mm -hmm. in the likes of a girl's picture, does that bug you? No. No. I no. feel like that's I don't what Instagram care about that. is for. Come on. So I'm saying. And that's insecure. It's one times. <laughs> I do not care. I love beautiful women, too. That's my thing. Like... I love beautiful girls. This so if I dumb. see my man liking somebody's oh, picture... Oh, you're mad. Uh, 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 cool. We're with you for a second. Ma well, but, uh, no, you said no, you're mad. No, no, I'm still with her. I'm still with her. Oh, no, oh, wait. Oh, I'm oh, still I with her. No, I got to defend. No, no, I'm still with her. Oh, okay, I'm but let sorry. me defend. I thought that's what y'all asked. No, I thought you said that's, it was your that's man. Maturity. No, that's in maturity. No, yeah, yeah, cool. in general... In general, I was just saying someone you're talking to, but you said you're a man. Oh, if I see somebody I'm talking to, I really don't care. Yeah. But even if I see my man liking a beautiful girl's picture, I don't care. Like. In the UK, Matureness that's cheating, personified. You know? For real? Yeah. What? 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 Get, listen, girls, girls what? hate that here. But there's a... Oh. This is <laughs> girls if, hate that here. If, <laughs> if I'm dating you and I'm in your likes, someone... Well, your friend is screenshotting that saying, why yeah. is your man in, in no. your likes? Yeah. What? Yeah. I don't... I'm not gonna lie. I don't care. That's so... Take, take, that's what, he's embarrassing you. Well, no, I'll say outside. this. Now, there's a it's difference a between liking a post so and, like, if you're in the comments with no, no, hard no, 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 eyes... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not doing, we're not doing money bags and all of that. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. yeah. But I... Like, I'm not gonna lie, like... Because she I look see, good. Yeah, or I feel like... He shot on that Yagi world on that ass. <laughs> <laughs> she had Yagi world to get <laughs> She ain't paid for this promo, right? <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm joking. Nah, I'm joking. Too hard to delete that part. <laughs> my only. confidence is just, and like I said, I did the growth, and I know what type of man that I have attracted because I'm in a relationship as well. I trust my man a thousand percent because I he knows what he got. Mm. So I don't care. I know he coming home. Like he love it here. All right. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I am top tier. He love it here. He love it here. He loves it here. So if he likes the picture, (laughs) the thing is, things are always beautiful online. Like y'all said, y'all seeing women and this and that, then you get in person and this and that. My man know what he got. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm successful, I'm funny, fine. Look, the list goes on and on. Yeah, he took your shit, man. Uh-huh. I am top so, tier. Th- 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 well, why well, you didn't post his <laughs> <laughs> But I feel like when you're confident in yourself, liking a picture, what's that going to do? All right, cool. But, but you know what it is? I think it's because you are, may- maybe that's what it is. There's insecurities on the- both sides on men with men and women. And I think that's the insecurity. That if a woman here sees a man like another picture, it's kind of like indicating. What that don't I have? What does she got? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Because if it's an ugly girl, for example, in inverted commas, or a girl that's not attractive, there ain't no problem. Then you be like, oh, that's right, wait, okay. no problem. Okay, let me, def- no problem. let me defend the listeners, the women now. This, I defend okay. the men now, I'm defending the women. I'm just thinking about what women would say. Yeah? Uh huh. Okay, but what if. See what th- I mean? You said, I'm just thinking. <laughs> Think, what should I say? Thinking. You said thinking. Remember she said Udi. Uh, remember she said Udi. You said Udi. Udi. Mm. I said, I said Audi. 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 I thought you were about the rapper. Wait, who is Audi? Oh, Yachty? No, Audi. Oh, no. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So women will say their counter would be, but what if my man doesn't post me? Like, yeah. people on his page don't even know that he's in a relationship. What's right. that got to do with me liking Meanwhile, pictures? Meanwhile, he's that... been in a relationship for four years, nah, five years. man. I'm asking a question. What's I'm that not... got to do with me liking pictures because I don't post you? What? Because it looks like you're single. Because I'm liking pictures. What yeah, And you don't post me. I'm saying it works. It works. On my page? No, how she feels will work hand in hand. You know what I mean? It's, it's a... It's now, a combination but, of well, things. I don't think about... You giving big loser vibes if you've been in a relationship with a man for five Bob's years and he ain't never posted. <laughs> big loser vibes. I'm Not sorry. big loser vibes. Bob's going to clip this, you know. Big loser vibes. Now, in defense <laughs> But in defense of what? the women, <laughs> yeah. now it is a problem if your man is liking pictures of all mm-hmm. these women and he's not at least liking yours. Now, sometimes they'll say that because I got you. I don't feel like your pictures no more, man. Why have y'all been together for five years, though, and he haven't posted you? No, it don't I, matter I agree with that. I like agree me. with that, but I'm not going to lie. Like, I I don't like people in my business. Come I on. haven't been in a relationship in five years, but yeah. I will, for, I mean, four or five years, but I will say, like, I like my privacy and things like that. But I think if a man is liking a bunch of women's pictures and he's not liking yours, now that's an issue. Because mm. if you always scrolling, you always scrolling, you can't like my picture. I don't see it. No, okay. No, but you're only putting. Why am I not in your algorithm? No, but you're freaky only... ass nigga. <laughs> no. <laughs> if it's big booty, big booty, big booty, and you don't even see your girl, maybe the girls are on. The UK not girls like are on or something. On yeah. No, no, but the problem, no, no, but the problem, it's, it's the though. No, but Tate, you know the problem here is, yeah, when I'm liking dogs, when Bruh. I'm liking, no, no, when I'm liking, I don't know, trainers. Cars, cars. Football cars, you ain't seeing that. Yeah. Yeah. When I'm liking P- Patrice from Miami, not Patrice. Now you're seeing the light. No, 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 you know? no, no. Look at the dogs. Uh-huh. Look at the car. Uh-huh. Because the dog Patrice is not gonna suck your dick. No. Uh-huh. That's the, that's what I'm saying though. She ain't worried about the dogs and the car pictures because yeah, they can't suck your dick. No, true, but true. when you out in Miami, yeah, she, I mean, she, she, she sent it back. Bro. No, no, no. She sent it back. I, I, I sent it back. No, no, let me no, let me serve back. Right, cool, 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 cool. But see your side. But, but what we needs to be done is ball. you need to, what needs to be done is you need to go on Instagram and look at the analytics uh-huh. and see the percentage or the no the percentile. Okay. okay. The girls I'm liking. I guarantee it's like 10%. You gonna show her? The 90. No, I'm saying she wanna look, she can't ask. Oh, boy, I'll tell you now. <laughs> show you my insights. Like I said, I get that, but on their side, I do feel like if you're liking other women's pictures and you know that means and she kind of feels some way about that, I think relationships are all about compromise. Nobody's perfect. I do. 100%. But then yeah. also, who want to date somebody that's insecure? Like, I feel like if you're insecure, you're not healed. Come you don't really That is true. You don't that's need to be. No, it's true. No, it's now. They, no, 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 no. They need to hear no, no, it no. now. You know, I, I, I feel I'm, like I'm, if you're insecure, you don't need to be in a relationship. Yes, like, you need to go do some more inner work. Mm. And that's okay, yeah. too. Yeah, it's killing me. Did you write a purpose? But, honestly, <laughs> what, what did you say? I was going to invite you to share this message. She, she's I'm, preaching, bro. Well, I'm, this is what you heard the 18th Well, I mean, no. I'm sharing this message because it goes for men and women because I feel like you got some insecure yeah. niggas too. Like, see, yeah. We're not going to act like it's men, just women. See with the men, yeah, when we speak, when we speak on like the bullshit that men do, it sounds like we're pandering and it's not pandering. I just believe that as a man, if you take care of your house, mm-hmm. whatever you're doing with your woman, 
if you take care of your house and your woman, she's not going to be online saying what she's saying. So when you're complaining about the other women that are saying what they're saying, why are you so oppressed? Is what I'm not understanding. Yeah. Why are you so yeah. pressed? Why, so, why are you so pressed that yeah. this woman over here said X, Y, Z? Unless know, she's affecting you yeah, who cares? in real life. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if this is like a UK thing, but this is my thing. In the United States of America. Well, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> the United States of America. I like that. When in like the 1960s and the 1970s. Ooh, you went way back. Well, I wasn't born back yet, in the time. obviously. But <laughs> In the 1960s and the 1970s, like, our grandparents, our aunties, like, they niggas definitely had, like, a side bitch that lived, like, two streets down. And they had babies on the side and all this shit. So I just feel like girls be trying to act like this is, like, new shit. Niggas been doing this shit for a long time. Mm -hmm. I just think we are more of a social media age, so we know how to kind of, like, Dig, yeah, yeah, dig and find we know how things. To dig, we know how to find, but niggas been doing shit for a long For's time. time. <laughs> so it be crazy to me because women used to put up with so much shit back in the day. And these days, girls be like, oh no, I'm not dealing with it. Can I can I send it back? But I, it, I, get, I get that, but MLK was cheating. Can I send it back? <gasps> oh, don't, he was. Don't, don't do our leader yeah. like that. I'm gonna call Dr. Umar. No, 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 Umar, Umar. I'm just playing. I don't know that man. Niggas been doing what they've been doing yeah, since that's the what beginning. I'm saying. That's that's time. Okay, but the great women back mind, in the bro. day, this is the problem. The women back in the day, this, mm. which is what I was getting at because I lost my train of thought. Women back in the day used to turn a blind eye to it. Mm -hmm. or, or they us, didn't have a voice. They didn't have a voice. Us, they did, they did, they did, this they did. generation, they did. They did. They we don't voice. play that shit. You niggas got us fucked up. But we gonna voice. let y'all know. No, no, so they... I don't know if that was a thing. Do y'all no, But no, also... No, no, women have a voice, but then when you look at like the Black Panther, the Black Panther story, <laughs> whatever, women were doing their thing back yeah, then, you know? But I'm, I'm talking they, about... But you were right. No, no, they were a big part of the movement. They didn't have a voice because we couldn't even open bank accounts without a man. It was a lot different. We couldn't do nothing. So it, it is a lot different now. But going back to what we were talking about with the social media, I'm not going to lie. I feel like if you and your partner are arguing about social media, y'all are done. But what y'all yeah. was about to say, though? Y'all was about to say something I about gonna, what I, I just said. I was, was going to respond with um, what you're saying is right, but at the same time, the, the climate was different. Then. Yeah. Women, women couldn't really speak about... So yeah, you were turning a blind eye, but really, truly, what am I going to do? You're going to approach him and, and, and then what? You might hit me. You might kick me out. Where am I going? But so think, even complaining you can't get about, in your name. But, but I think, yeah. But I, think yeah. it, but I think in them days it was more about. Also, where do I be the, the next one? It's not even that the stigma of leaving a broken home. I think yeah. in them days yeah, it was like too. once you're together, you have to. Yeah, you, yeah. you, you, you gotta make, make that work. family yeah. structure yeah, was like, different. Family's more important than whatever. Divorce wasn't an option. Yeah, our gender like. Fuck that. But he's not treating me right, though. I'm, I'm out. I'm going to get married three times. No, no, three but, times no, but, charm. Yeah. Yeah. Our, our gym's different. He didn't buy me flowers. I'm gone. Like, it's a bit too... It's, it's yeah. a bit, gone this, where? No, no, okay. no, the extremes no, no, now. No, no, like, no. Them but, days was extreme, okay, cool, but, but now it's like... But, Marv, if you're, someone, little thing, if I'm you're gone. someone that can leave because you have options... Mm. But like I said, Chloe, the reason why she's still there... She ain't got options. My point. No, I disagree, options. though. You think I don't a think woman, she's got options, man. You think a woman of that status in that caliber does options. not have options? That she wants. Now that is now a that's different. a good point. Okay, yeah. that's what she I mean. has Let options, but not part. options. Because, like I said, we what? all going after that small yeah. percentage. Her percentage of what, what she wants because she like black men. Industry right now is going to be so like, she... hey, Tristan, step aside, let me go. Who's rushing? 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 Who's Mm -hmm. And they look a particular way. The mentality Don't matter. is still from You still then. from back in the day. So for Chloe, mm -hmm. I think her mentality is still when she was Chloe that looked and was a yep. particular way. Yep. So now, whether the surgery or whatever she's got now, she's lit now, but the mentality is I, still yep. that so Chloe. Growth. Let's, and okay, I let think me apply men growth. prey on that. Yeah, oh, I think of they course. prey on that. I think men... But, no, but, men love women 
who have low confidence. No, no, because no, that's, a, that's a harsh statement, though. That's what I'm saying. You're I'm not saying all men. Oh, okay. I think you have a certain type of men. I think you have a certain, certain group. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. you have a certain group of men who love women love who them. have very low self confidence. <laughs> you know why though? Because yeah, you're not gonna dollars. go nowhere. Three dollars in the bank account. That's yeah. why. Word. That's why. But Trish and Tommy's don't <laughs> have three dollars. I just don't think he's outside Thompson, like that. My I, bad. I, I, don't I don't even I know just, that man I last think night. A comment. But you know what? Let me stop bannering her. Yeah. Sorry. I let me be nice now. Yeah. Be nice. I think what she needs to do is let go of that man and go and heal. Because she also gets competition from her sisters as well. Mm-hmm. There's some weird vibe in that house. I get it. It oh, is, for sure. but y'all have do to understand, mean? this goes back to what I was saying earlier. Because from what I my seeing of the Kardashians, they date black men. And they don't want, oh, you know, you can make a hundred thousand. You got to be a millionaire. Mm. So you want a millionaire black man, not even just a one, two, three, four, five million. You got to be in that like, 50 million mm. mark mm-hmm. damn near. So the percentage of a man that she wants is so, yeah, so safari. small. So I'm not gonna lie. Safari. From Love and Hip Hop? Uh, safari is that, that, that realm, man. You what? think he got 50 million? I don't know why no, you no, said no, safari. I was about to say, what about safari the, are you no, the type, talking about? No, no, the type of man is what I'm thinking. You're by yourself for that one. No, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> he you know, loves no, safari. You plucked a name out of the air random, bro. I've been thinking, like, I'm trying to think of a black man in America. That I'm gonna find him in Safari. You think like, Safari got fifty million dollars? No, 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 no. I wasn't talking about him having fifty. I oh. mean, for him, her looking glory. after him, but just having a man. Oh, oh. What yeah, I was, the yeah, point yeah, I was getting yeah, at yeah. earlier. You know what? It's Safari this, gonna I don't want to say no names. It's this woman <laughs> that we know. Well, that I, well, I don't know. We kind of both know her a little bit, but it's like she got money. She does very well for herself, but. Again, she's always dating men who don't have anything. She will literally give men money and they will give it to her. And she'd be acting like, oh, girl, he just gave me some money. That's what they're doing. Yeah. But that's why I said that's the, like, sometimes not all American American women. That's the American way. Uh, It's crazy. No, 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 but but think about it. They like, fuck it, I'm moving tomorrow. (laughs) If you, if bad man knew they could pattern that, they would. I don't think I'll be comfortable with that. So a girl was giving you, let's say she was giving you eight eight bags a month. I don't know if I'll be comfortable with that. No, so that's eight you. pounds. No, eight, no, eight, thousand, eight grand. Eight, eight thousand pounds. Dollars. But oh, then, eight thousand pounds. That's what I'm saying. But you, eight thousand pounds. But you're just spending a grand. That's really every ten so in America. Gifts. I don't know if I'll be comfortable. Not with you, that. but there's certain man that would definitely. But listeners would be like, yeah. I, I'll need some persuading. What Yagi World, Chucky Bobs. Yo, <laughs> sold. Sold. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Mm. But I don't know. I just feel like that is the American way, though. I think. <laughs> would you not do that? Absolutely, the fuck not. Well, I was but it's right. the American way. Well, I, was, the question. I said it's I was more, right it's more common. parent household. I think it's a little more complex in situations like that. Okay. Like my parents were married my whole life, and I was raised in the two parent household. So I seen like my dad being the provider, yeah. taking care of me and my mom, and like RIP to my dad because he passed in twenty twenty. But even after death, like. Me and my mom was still straight. You know what I mean? Yeah, like he made he sure, it. yeah, yes. like he made sure me and my mom was gonna be okay even after he left. So I just think I have a different level of what I expect from men because of my situation with my father. But a lot of the time in America, I think it's a lot of people who grow up in single parent households, and then. If you're a woman who you grow up in a single parent household, you long for love. Like you're always looking for that. So even if a man gives you the bare minimum, you just happy to have a man around. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, in the black community, it's worse because black women, I think, are taught to like, even with me, even with my dad, I'm not going to lie. My dad always instilled in me, like, if a man cannot do more for you than what I've done for you, then you don't need to date him. Like, what do you need him for? So it's like almost a level of, like, entitlement going into dating yeah. in the first place. Because you're like, if you can't, if you don't have this level of money or if you can't provide a certain lifestyle or whatever that I'm already used to, I'm not even going to date you in the first place. Well, I remember being younger and hearing that. I'd be like, why is your dad such a hater, man? <laughs> no, but he's not. No, I'm saying when, I'm, when I was right, younger. Right, when he was younger. But now that I have a daughter who's 10, oh, 100%. Yeah. You can't treat like You I feel the same you. way. Yeah. But, but I think it's, I think it's a hard one, though, because, yeah, the love of a dad is different. So when you've got like a kid, there's nothing that the dad won't do for that daughter. But at the same time, <laughs> that, the, the love is different yeah, like, saying, yeah. from the dad. So if, if I'm meeting a girl now, 
I can't treat her like your dad treated you because we're just starting off. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at me like, well, if you can't treat me like my dad, it's a different kind of love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you and you're going to gonna pay, raise your daughter that way to like, yeah, no, you're going no, to raise your daughter to have, like, um, standards, like, and... Um, what's the discernment. Word discernment. What's the word I'm looking for? Boundaries and mm -hmm. a certain level of, like, I'm not tolerating this. But at the same time, the love is different because the love of a family member is not the same as the love of a partner. You got to find a balance. You got to find a balance. Yeah. You know what I'm My balance so, is, Mia, this is a message from your dad. If you ever need your light bills paid... Message me first. Yeah. <laughs> don't be messaging no dudes. Yeah. What? No, 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 no. Don't be messaging no dudes. Message I agree, me I first. I agree. A lot of the time when men are not in the life, then that's where Lex was just talking about, like, you know, you overcompensate. And it's a lot of women who are taking care of men mm -hmm. because they just want to have a man around because they're mm -hmm. not used to having a man around. It's just, it's a sad but cycle. You know, what's, you, know, you know, when you say that, like, it's not, a, I don't think it's a bad thing. I, I, it's just, just be aware. Like, I was in, I went, school, we were all in school when we were 9, 10, mm -hmm. 11. Bare, loads of people going through stuff which we didn't know. This person was acting weird because blah, blah. This person smelled a certain way because maybe his house was just, he, he didn't even have a time to shower. Yeah. There's all of these things that we're learning as we get older. Yeah. So, a if you're aware. Call, not this girl backpack okay. in my school. You ain't have to bring that <laughs> well, up. Now backpack. she's probably going to see this and relive a it. A roach crawled out this girl. <laughs> Uh, backpack. Why, you, why are you shaking your head? Out of it. it. She brought it to school. She brought the backpack. Said, I want he learn. crawled out. He said, what y'all learning today? What y'all finna talk about? What y'all finna talk about? What y'all doing today? That lets y'all know how that scarred me. How I ain't doing? never forgot about it. I was like 10 and she opened her backpack and he crawled out and everybody started running. That's crazy. What did you do? Man. Bitch, I ran. Yeah. Oh, she was it's probably true, devastated. Miss, I got the homework to cook. Do you know how many egg. roaches you have to have for roaches to get into your bag? He said bro. he wanted and to get out. <laughs> them roaches be. They like he wanted to get out as well. He said, <laughs> I got to get out of this dirty <laughs> motherfucker. That he flying me to school. <laughs> explore the world. Take me to school, bitch. I, I, I done had enough I, I, of I leaving the a home. <laughs> he I said, I'm ready to go. I need hey. a new life. He, he was trying Wait, to escape. Did, did but the man the house was like, just around the riverbed. She used to it. She used to it. <laughs> A whole mm. new world. <laughs> <laughs> a whole new world is crazy. Oh. I, I want to go to Paris. Yeah. <laughs> Paris. No, really, I got three dollars. That motherfucker started running. I don't even so believe her. Quick. What? I got three dollars. Yeah, no, I, I'm not kidding. I had three dollars because I had a lot of time I paid man. stuff. I was like, yeah. all right, Number YOLO. I was real. That was like my YOLO era. 2016, you said. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like I my YOLO. Like, when you go to America, there's one like you can make money in America fast, but you spend money so yeah. fast. But bro. this is the thing though. I was a bartender. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I paid my bills and so I could go on my little trip. But I yeah. knew when I came back, yeah. I had a work shift. So I knew I was gonna make four or five hundred dollars on my little shift yeah, yeah. and be straight. So I was like, okay, I'll go on my trip. I know I'm not gonna have to pay for nothing. What, what is the appeal in being a um, like a bartender or working in a club? Or Make money, bro. No, no, I know, but outside of making money, is it the outside amount of money? Outside of making money, it ain't no outside of what? making money. I used to work. So is, it, is it straight it's strictly the money? money that you yes. get? You might meet people as well, maybe, but it's money though. Yeah, I think for me, like I used to work at a really popular strip club, so I used to work like through my college. Um, I was working like two nights a week, and I was like making some anywhere from like. $500 to $2,000 in a night. Mm -hmm. Literally. Like, it was so hard for me to go to a regular job getting paid yeah, every two weeks because yeah. I'm like, I'm making in yeah. a night what I'm making in two weeks. You know so what I'm saying? I went to Miami 20, 20, 20, 2021, Rolling Loud Festival. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we went to an after party, some strip club. Roddy Rich was performing there. Mm -hmm. but, uh, bottle girls are bringing all our bottles to the table, blah, blah. And there's one of the girls I'm, rec I'm recognized. I'm like, she's like, yeah, it, it is me. I'm like, wait, what's your name again? I can't remember what she said her name was, but she's from Stratford. Yeah. So she mm. came to Miami one time. Yeah. She went to the um, the club. She liked the environment. She just said, can I work? She said, she ain't been back since. I said, hey, what? Hey, we went to Turks and we saw a girl working in Turks and Caicos. And she and was from Houston. She was from Houston. <laughs> I was like, damn. But she moved Bottle to Bottle girls Turks. all over oh. the world now. And I've noticed in America. But it's some, money. Some girls yeah. have an actual job and then they'll do the bottle thing on the side. But it's, I used to it's do just, that. Yeah, it's money. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, straight yeah. money. So, okay. They so, make a lot of money. So, speaking from someone who works in the club, yeah, as a man who is outside looking in and wants to date you, bear in mind, I'm speaking from UK men because mm -hmm. some of us, can't lie, 
Our oh, missus leaving the house at 11 to say I'm going to work. Y'all streak. <laughs> no, y'all yeah. streak over here. <laughs> like, it's yo. rough still, it's rough. So what is it that we should... What do we need to know that to know that you lot are straight at work? Like, don't worry about it. It's all good. Yeah. But literally just working. I think it's like, you have to look at it like she's at work doing her job. But I mean, we do have to be friendly. See, it's a little different now because gratuity is included now. When and I was working in the club, it wasn't. What? So we had to be friendly. We had to actually do our job. Mm. So it, it required us being nice, you know, people drunk. We pouring shots. We, you know, oh, what y'all doing after this? We talking. We exchanging numbers, not on some, oh, let's text. But, hey, next time you come to town, hit me up. I'm going to make sure your section all ready for you. Yeah, yeah, So it's yeah, like, yeah. that. that is what's going mm. on. But I'm still coming home. I don't want these drunk athletes and then when you say it like that it sounds so much better I, get I mean it now, but it's but, the truth that's what a, was going on and it's a lot to say too I get over here why you may be a little apprehensive because like in America when you a waitress or a bartender you literally make two dollars an hour yeah <laughs> 213 then, yeah 213 so you have and to work for so the you tips. have to get your tips like over here they still get paid yeah, yeah. so it's like if you get a tip, that's a plus. But at least you making, like, a decent wage. Yeah. In America, like, it's $2. So it's like, we got to be friendly. Like, it dep- Like our livelihood depends on, mm-hmm. that's why on the tip. That's why I've seen videos of, like, people tipping and then the waitress or waiter, like, getting mad. Like, yeah. yo. Because over here, that would never happen. Because it's, you tip if... We don't even tip it. That's why everybody... Yeah. Because obviously, because we that's get, what they, they, they get paid like 12, 13 pounds a dollar, I mean, huh? an hour. That's what we're used to here. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. That's why everybody is mean. That's why y'all service. Like, they don't have to be nice. They yeah, don't have yeah, to be yeah, pleasant yeah, 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 because yeah. it's like, no matter what, I'm still going to get this $12 an hour. Whether, like, if you tip me $50, great. But regardless, I know what my check going to look like mm-hmm. every week. But you know, With us... Do you know understand? How is that even legal? I don't know. That you can get $2 an hour so, and you have to work for your tips because... I mean, it's well, probably When I was in the restaurant, though. so when you clock out, you have to claim your tips. So when you claim your tips, it'll calculate it out to make sure you're making X, Y, Z per hour, which is the but minimum wage. Lying. So we would lie... Like, sometimes we would lie yeah. on our tips so we would still get at least somewhat of a paycheck. Oh, so they... Okay. so Because if I'm clocking out, and I made, and I claim I made six hundred dollars. Then my check is going to be zero. Oh, serious? Yeah, your check will be zero because technically, if I worked, you know, six hours and I made six hundred dollars, that means I made a hundred dollars an hour. Versus if I clock out and I say, oh, I only made ten dollars, they're going to do the math. Joe on Biden it they, gonna see this and they about to change the rules. I mean, <laughs> I mean that's what we used to do. I don't know how the POS he systems are now. Shit. He's like, uh, uh-uh. Joe they Biden. They be lying about they tips. Joe yeah. Biden is old and. Fuck. He, he be is, falling asleep is, on his speech. He be like, him or Kamala, one of them gonna see. How is he been in the prison? Um, man, America is a shit show. No, America is a shit show. And let me just say this. Okay. To everybody out there that's endorsing Trump right now, and y'all think it's funny, and y'all think it's cute, that shit is not cute. And that shit is not funny. And I feel like when people have a platform, we have a serious position to stop doing things because you think it's, oh, I'm being different. I'm a free thinker. No, you're what you're promoting is very dangerous. And y'all have to really pay attention. Can for I real. ask y'all a question? How do y'all feel about the fact that y'all can't, like, vote for, like, who y'all want? You can vote. So, like, well, I mean, but... She's talking about, the like, royal the royal family is the is royal it? family. Oh, yeah. No, but, no, but then, then you can't vote for that. You can't vote for who runs they, the country. They're not in power like that. They, oh. they, they're just... They're just, um, like... Head of the, the, sov- the the representation. Yeah, like the head of the sovereign state, but they're yeah. not like um they don't control anything to a degree. They don't get involved in any matters. So you can vote for the people who control. It's the parliament. That's parliament. So mm. that'll be the prime Got minister. It. But that, that royal family just here is like the heads of state. I think or something in in war. If something were to happen, mm-hmm. I think the prime minister has to go to the queen or the king. They consult it to say we're going to go to war. Are you okay with it? And they'll right. be like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Then you have like a crazy no. prime minister. Um, that lady. No, no, no. no. But it that was, was before that was born. Rishi Sunak is our prime minister, the, the Asian guy. No, not it was somebody maybe before him. Boris Johnson. What's his name? Boris Johnson. Yeah, was he the kind of? Yeah. The thing is, he he's not crazy. He he acts like that. Okay. He's he's actually, a, he's actually very intelligent. Very, yeah, okay, okay. So it's like just like a, okay, okay. You know, you know them ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Brother, stop it, man. <laughs> oh, man, it's stop. a front. It's a front, man. <laughs> oh it's a front. my god. It's a, good front, man. it's a good front, though. You see, you bought it. <laughs> yeah. I had no because I was oh, like, y'all laughed at us. <laughs> <laughs> y'all got yeah, yeah, your heart. Yeah. Mind your business. See what I'm saying? Because Trump not faking. Yeah, yeah. He really is like. Do you hate Trump? 
horrible. He's terrible. He's awful. Well, what, so he's better great than Biden. Business, great businessman. Because Biden, great for, for me, man. I feel like Biden. I don't, from what I'm seeing, I thought Biden would be the guy because he's <laughs> he was Barack's number two. So you're thinking, ah, oh, Barack, him. But then when I'm looking, I'm like, bro, this guy's not capable of uh, anything. I mean, he was a ra- reality TV star at one point. Literally. That's what I'm saying. Imagine somebody from Love Island being like, okay, I'm going to be y'all's prime minister. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's literally that's how insane. it is. Somebody who's been openly so derogatory towards women yeah. and black people as a whole. I mean, it's on... Black people, yeah. gay people. It's on... Pay- it's like we can it's see it. Wax. It's not like yeah. he said, she said. Like, we can literally pull up clips right now. Yeah. So it's just so crazy that people are like, oh, but this and but... I don't care. That is just not cool. You know what I mean? I feel like they went through hell and high water of digging up so much things from Obama's past to make sure he was, you know, oh, does he have the resume to do this? Is yeah, he, yeah, yeah. you know, and it was just so much. And it's like Trump, like he does not have the credentials to really be running a country. I for mean, real. but being white in America, yeah, America you can do, yeah, America's, you can just the, the, do whatever you want. It's weird though. The racism in America and the racism here, they're completely different. The racism in America is very like blatant. It's oh, your, it's blatant. It's in your face. Yeah. Here, it's like, it's not in your face. It's kind of like, it's mind tricks. You're like, wait, hold on. Mm. Is that racist? Or covert. Am I being it's, like, it's covert. Like, yeah, over in America, it's over. I think one thing that we have done, though, is just kind of like, we, we have started above all the bullshit. But, but we started kind of like, like ML, we got an MLK. We kind of taking it every... back, though. Like, now we laugh at the shit and we record and like, we like, because even like saying like the N word with the hard ER, like when people say that stuff mm-hmm. to us, like, when no, you say that. No, 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 no. I don't what say I'm the saying ER. is, I'm not saying that we say it's still the ER. Hard be. It does, but what I'm saying is, it's just like we have learned how to deal with it in a way. Like black people, we make a joke out of everything. That's what we do. Mm. So I think it's like that's how we fight back. We have a community. Like yeah. Black Twitter, everybody wants to like be like, oh, it's not that big of a thing, but it's it had a whole documentary on Hulu. It's like a thing. It's a community. You well, know what I'm I saying? Would, yeah. So I feel like we have a lot of sway in things like elections and yeah. when we use power. our platforms and we yeah, talk yeah. about these issues and these things that's what I mean yeah and I-, I was saying we rise above a lot of the bullshit like I think black people in America we have seen like where things came from since like the civil rights movement until now yeah. well, literally from slavery then the civil rights movement until now and I just think we we take advantage of the, a lot of the opportunities that are afforded to us yeah what, and, what is this hard ER thing? Because I, I know I know it is. It's like, yeah. But to me, when, ni- when, when we say nigga, like, er. it just sounds the same to me. But what, if you, what the A, the ER. Yeah. Because my thing is, someone's having an argument with me, the other, not argument, but they're talking about Drake saying, there's a video of Drake, and they're like, oh, he had the hard ER. I'm yeah, like, I've I'm seen like, that video. I'm like, listen, have you, got a problem with the, have you got a problem with the word or not? Because if you have, then let's just say, all right, we don't want to use it, but. When you're picking this ER, because I couldn't hear the ER. Mm. It just sound the word sounded the same to me because I might say it with the ER. Yeah. But you might no, I might say it with the A, but it might sound like the ER because of my accent. Your accent, so that's yeah. That's you're getting onto me saying, but I don't How do you say it? Well, let, me, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me release my shoulders. <laughs> I said, let me download the black. Relax a little bit. <laughs> let me the, the iOS. Get a little loose in there. Get a little loose. Maybe you need to take a little more take of the Take a little cast amigo, bro. Let, let, let me take download, a little sip. Uh, let me download. I'll take a sip with you because I, I feel like I'm finna hear an ER. Let, let, I think let, I am let, let, let me download the I, I, iOS. That ER finna come out hard. <laughs> it is. I can feel it. Um, I just, I don't, uh, hey, don't, don't embarrass you, bro. He like this. He nervous. He sweating. <laughs> he sweating. He like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Oh, <laughs> oh hell. Fuck shit. <laughs> God damn. Boris Johnson too. Um, how do I say? Yeah. yeah I, 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 I just say nigga. Okay. Nigga. He yeah, made nigga. sure he said nigga. Yeah, oh. No, no, no. I, oh. Oh. So, nigga. I like nigga. He, nigga. nigga. I'm about to start he said nigga. Listen, nigga. That's nigga. Classy. Hey, what we did? What we did? What we did? Nigga. How dare you, nigga? Yeah, see, nigga. That's, that's racist. What? The way you said it is racist. I said, how dare you, nigga? Yeah, come on, man. He nigga. said nigga. You mean like what I do? The, the yeah. school. <laughs> that was good. I like it. I'm about to start Who saying nigga. Who has nigga? We had the whole conversation about uplifting black people. Now we ended it with ER. What was going on? Nigga. How you Yours. How you do yours? Hell ass nigga. Nigga, please. Oh, <laughs> nigga, please. Nigga, please. That's definitely please. 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 I object. I heard the ER. I object, nigga. I object, <laughs> nigga. You peasant. <laughs> you nigga. You are a peasant ass nigga. 
Uh, this YouTube is getting, this YouTube this is getting is flagged. This is blasphemy, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram only, bro. <laughs> oh, nigga. Who was the prime minister when y'all was born? Was it Margaret Thatcher? Nah. Uh-huh. Y'all ain't like that old. No, it, no, it might have been. Wait, when was Margaret Thatcher? I don't remember. I remember John Major. Yeah, he was, he was, yeah, yeah. It was definitely Miss Thatcher. <laughs> no, Miss Thatcher was... <laughs> Not since... <laughs> it was definitely <laughs> Miss Thatcher. Fun fact. About me, I'm really into like British history. She I was, like, loves. Oh, Are you sure? Oh, she right, let me, loves let me, let me, the crown. No, 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 no. no, no. Right, see, gonna pull you I'm gonna bring you up on charge. I'm, 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 I'm bringing you up on charge, this nigga. Oh, nigga. I'm bring you up on charge, nigga. But I was obsessed with the crown. Like that was my she show. She loves the oh, crown. Oh, is that why? No, yeah. she has, she loves. But even before that, like I've always just yeah. been obsessed with like. Oh, you got you got to find Chris Brown. But so Mary and George. I didn't watch the crown. Well, no, it's this show called Mary and George. It's on. No, she um, correct still. Well, well, yeah. You was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, she, she knows. The, 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 the leader of the Conservative Party from. She had a long way. Oh, what? That lady was mean. She was mean. That's long, isn't it? Not, I'm not, not, right, 19, 1975 to 1990. Hold on, 17. 1975. 15 years. I was like, bitch, that was a little <laughs> European, like, especially like the English history, it's so interesting. <laughs> it's a lot to it. Like, just Y'all like how the royal right. family works. That's why she was talking about the royal family. It's just so it's interesting, interesting, like, how it's all, like, the from way back, because we we talk, we will have whole conversations oh, about the first Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. We talked about that on the phone for like four hours one day. And it's literally crazy how the queen that just died, she wasn't even supposed to be queen yeah, in the first place. Like, it's just hot over she here. Longest reign ever. Like, yeah, we be so interested is, is in it. Is this off the back of the crown or just in general? No, no just in general. Just in general, I always knew that. Like, her dad was the brother. I mean, yeah, her dad was the brother of the king, but then remember, he wanted to be mm-hmm. an American. Wanted that pussy. Yeah. He wanted an American. Yeah. He wanted that pussy. Yeah. 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 Giving yeah. up the throne for cheeks is crazy. I would never get up the throne for cheeks. Not for no American cheeks. I don't believe you because you've been 18 times. You finna go. Right now, he's gonna go for Yagi World. Exactly. <laughs> but I didn't have Buckingham Palace. <laughs> if I'm Buckingham Palace, I'm gonna leave in there. Yeah. Nah, the, the power of Buckingham Palace, but I think the thing is, they have to have a certain kind of woman. Mm. I think, as in when you're in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and maybe the the, win, the women around Windsor. She was yeah, yeah, yeah. Said, nah, man, don't want this thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, we do a lot of evergreen and topics. The the climate in America, like, you can get canceled for anything. anything. And, like, if something gets taken the wrong way. Because we joke a lot. And we both have really dark humor. Yeah, Like, it's do. really dark. It's really bad. So we have to really censor ourselves a lot. And I think a lot of our listeners are like, man, I miss the old poor minds and XYZ. But it's like, honestly, the climate that mm. we're in, and we didn't, I mean... I don't know. Dre always said she knew the show was going to be this big. But Deep. I didn't expect for it to be like this on this level. So it's like, I've never lived in the space where I had to watch what I say. But yeah. now I have to. You know what I'm saying? Amer- imagine America. Imagine that. Now imagine the UK a hundred times the other way. Yeah. Because in America, like I see things post. I see like certain jokes, um, certain comedians saying things. Even is it Justin the Boys, like he would tweet certain things and then put mm-hmm. on his page. Mad here. If there was someone like that, people would be like, onto them. Like, Prime the, Minister the, on the, your the, ass. The, no, no, no. I mean, in terms of the community, is that the people trying to cancel you? Like, as in, now nah, we don't. Like, we're too conservative here, man. Like, I think the tide's changing, though. Yeah. No, not to that degree, though. Tell no, in America. You I think, think it's changing think, here? No, in, in America. America. Oh. I think you'll be able to go back to your old format, but you just have to do it yourselves, as opposed to maybe how you were doing it before, and then your community will support you. Because that's what they want. Yeah, I mean, I think we've done a good... But I think we've also matured in a way as yeah, well. Yeah, there is that as well. So it's like, when we first started recording, I was, what, 27, 28? And I was like 25, 26. Yeah, so... And it's... now I'm I'm 33. Yeah, and I'm 34. She's 34. She's about to turn 35. So it's like, it's been like, you know... A lot, you yeah. Shift in, so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So it's like, yeah, I think, I mean, my views on a lot of things have changed. So it's like, I don't mind why, because I'm not here to offend people. Mm. I'm here to entertain people. So a lot of times people be like, oh, I want to tell my jokes and then I don't care. I'm, I've never been that person. I'm here to make you laugh. So, and I want more people to join. So it's like, hey, let me know if I'm offending you in this, I, yeah, I don't mind yeah, being yeah. that. Because I'm not here to be like a bitch and be like, oh, no, this is what I said. I said what I said. I don't mind apologizing. I'm not that person that's like, oh, yeah, if I hurt your feelings, fuck you. No, I'm not like that. So, um, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of things to laugh at without offending people. Yeah, it's true. And if you I didn't mean, know, you didn't know. People get so easily offended these days. Yeah, it's I feel like people are always, I say this all the time, every clip we post, people are always ready to be fake outraged. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's, that, there's that too. Yeah, there's that. They was outraged when we said stuff about the moaning. They oh, was mad. It? Yeah, they was mad. Who's they, the who's they, who? The men or men, the women? Men. Both. Of course, men. It was both. Like, it was women. They're like, how dare they y'all? They was like, what the fuck? Y'all don't like when niggas be moaning. You hoes weird. Bro, what? <laughs> Bro, I, they, I would love to hear y'all do the accent, though. Well, well, hoes weird. You <laughs> hoes weird. You hoes weird. You hoes weird. This bitch weird. tripping. <laughs> He ain't that house. He did. He ain't that. Do it again. Do it one more time. You house weird. Yeah. Why are you doing? I'm on to you, though. Just say no. You need to do it too, though. You said what? These bitches tripping. I'm listening to Sexy Red Reese. That's why. Is that it? I'm listening to Sexy Red Reese. Is that it? Sexy Red Reese. No, that's your song. I love it. Banger. 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 I love it. But then, uh, remember we were out the other day and they put a the sexy yeah, red section. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. were like, Jumping yo. Is she um, really we... ratchet, ratchet? Oh, yeah, she's ratchet for real. But that's why I, I love... the concert in Toronto. She was barefoot on the stage. But that's why she's twerking. so successful. And I think mm. people need to realize that across, when you're an artist, a content creator, an influencer, whatever you are, when you're, you're authentic, authentic. Yeah, you're you. you can be successful. I think a lot of times in the podcasting world now... Um, Ian and Rashad just said this on their podcast. They said, during the pandemic, um, content creating, influencing boomed. Like, everybody started seeing success, but everybody was doing, oh, they're talking about this and going viral? Well, let me do this too. Originality was at a zero, and everybody was just going up, up, up. But now, you're seeing the people that are really original and the people that are not, because the money done kind of dried up. Come on, my guys. So if you're really like in 2024, if you have a podcast and you're still making money, a lot of these people that were in the pandemic, they're gone. They quit. They fell out. The money money done dried up. I like When you're originally (laughs) yourself, when you get on this mic and you're not trying to act like, oh, I seen this dude go viral. I'm going to say this joke, but I'm going to say it in a different way. Yeah. You have to be yourself. And that's why sexy, everybody like, oh, she ratchet. But she, there's women who connect with that. Yeah. And they love that. And there's people it's you might not even connect with that, but she it's fun. The beat slaps. The beat slaps. Jeez. The women, the Jeez. women turning up. They on the dance floor. Everybody Casamigos having a good time. You know? She's authentically I'm herself, dead, dead. and nah, I think I that's why you know. 
people. I think that's why people vibe with her too. Like, yeah. I just, I love anybody that's just they self yeah. all the time. You can't hate that. No gimmicks, nothing for the camera. You just being you. How long have you two known each other by then? Oh, like nine years? Yeah, next year we'll, it'll be 10 years. You have a nice chemistry. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, we really been. Raw. Okay, I'll take it back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cuddle her later. Because the thing is about hurts. her, we'll have a moment. <laughs> She just does too much. And then she always do too much. I and I love her. her. That That's always one. Yes. So you mean, what's your sign? I'm into signs. What's your sign? Oh, Capricorn, but I mean, I've been you like, oh. oh my God, I'm a Taurus. What does that mean? Vibes. They vibe. What's your sign? Pisces. Oh, you oh, emotional. You a lover. You That's be loving why. them hoes down. He probably. He you probably, love a hoe. No, like, I, I knew you was a hoe. Let me go. Let me tell you. I knew it. I did not trust. I'm guilty. He probably is working at a club and be like, bro. You know I love you, bro. I love you, bro. <laughs> what? Bro, if you my man now. We came from the bottom, my uh, mind. Look what we did, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we started from the bottom, bro. No. Now we're here. Is that who you think I am? Nigga. Oh, nigga. You my nigga. <laughs> Swear down. Okay. From Essex to Stratton. Why are um, Pisces so emotional? Stratton? Okay. Um, I'm Essex. Wait, wait, what was that? Drea. What? Why are Pisces emotional? She's more into the signs. Oh, so I'm, yeah, I'm more into the signs. So, oh, water Lord. signs are very emotional people by nature because... I don't know, Scorpios, Pisces, Cancers. Y'all are all just very in tune with y'all emotions. Okay. Y'all okay with getting to like that emotional side. Mm -hmm. Then you have like the other signs, which is like air, which is like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They they all a little weird. They kind of like, <laughs> they all a little weird. Yeah. They a little strange. Wait, <laughs> strange. wait to you because you're a tourist. Earth well, not just even to me. I think they strange, period. Okay. <laughs> but you got to look at the like the elements of it. So with uh, Pisces, it's water. It's water. So it's like when you're connected to the earth, like you, you kind of just, I don't want to say you go with the flow, but... That I makes think sense, they, they talk yeah, about with the water signs because, like, you got to think yeah. about, like, rain and how you feel when, like, yeah. when it rains or how you feel when you you're in the water. Feelings. Yeah, when it's it rains, like, you know... You be like, oh, let me stay in the house and just listen to some of the Or, like, when people be at the beach, they That's be like, true. oh, I'm that free. I'm true. by the water. I that feel... True, it's yeah. like, you know, water is a very emotional she element. Does. What's this one? You don't try to... So I'm a tourist and I'm an earth sign, too. Yeah. He's earth. Yeah, y'all are earth signs. We grounded, very teeth well, not her, mud. but serious. Mud. See, see, I ain't trying it. See, serious. See, 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 I'm saying mud. Are you serious? You see the water. I'm saying mud. Can you see the, 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 the emotion coming out? Earth. Ladies, can you see the emotion? Earth. Can you see the emotion? Earth. It's the world. No, no ground. Like, the the like, emotion earth. is coming out. You can't help it. Where's the clarification? See? You can't help the emotion. That emotion. I felt it. You being emotional, bro. See? You throw, the you're throwing mud on me. You're throwing mud. <laughs> but our signs tend to be a little more serious. We keep stern. people grounded. Yeah. Like, we're going to always bring you back to back to real Earth. life. Like, it's, it, when people start getting, like, delusional and shit, we're going to be like, bitch, okay. Yeah. This was really going on. Yeah, it's true. It's that's true. So. That's um, Earth sign energy. Lex is a fire sign. Okay. So, she's a Leo. So, fire it's like sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They are a little more, I guess I would say, aloof. I wouldn't say aloof. I think what I it is. I think aloof. Well, aloof. But, well, okay. When we explain the signs, every sign has the good and the bad. Sign a bit fiery. So over there. a fire is very in your <laughs> face. Passionate. Passionate. They're very passionate. Fire signs tend, um, usually a lot of creatives are fire signs. So why can't my emotion well, be passion? Well, a lot of creatives come from all signs. That's why. Why can't my emotion be passion? Well, let me say this. It bear in mind, yes, bear in mind, yeah, I, I did a little research into the uh, star signs. I'm on the cusp. Me too. Come on, cusp. Me too. I'm cusp. on the cusp. Bro. Come on, yeah. cusp. And my cusp is what's your cusp? Pisces and Aries. Ooh. Okay, so my cusp. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 You got that fire in it. Don't worry, ladies, man. Don't worry, this shit. Nigga, 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 nigga,
Aries. Okay. What does cross mean, please? As in terms just, of, no, no, no. I get everything because the date of your birthday is either Pisces or not, right? Right. You can't but be born on the close. 16th but and a half. Really clo- but if you're really close to the end of the mm. other sign, yeah. that mean the moon or the beginning was of the other sign, the position then it of means the that the position of the moon, you have like both trades. Mm. So I'm like Taurus, Aries, cuz. And then if you really start getting into like moon and risings, then like my All moon, fire. my moon is Leo. I'm on the cross And too. then my rising is Libra. I'm on the cross. Which makes well. me like You're on the, all where's your over birthday? the place. Oh no, you a baby. You was a Capricorn. Oh, no, you right, right. the Capricorn the, the He's yeah. Tyree. He said, I'm on the curse. I'm on the curse. <laughs> because what's the next sign after Capricorn? No, if you was on the cusp. No, no. You would like, know if you was no, on the cusp. No, 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 I'm on the cusp. <laughs> you would know if you was on the cusp. <laughs> Oh, you caught him out. You caught him out. He's leaving no, the next one. I'm on the cross, bro. The next bro. one ain't until like January 18th. But no, you, you need no, the one before. The one before. The one before. Can it be no. before? It's 31st, isn't it? It's 31st, isn't it? Yeah, you, hey, you, you are deep. deep you are deep. You are deep. Crazy. I'm on the 19th. You and my so ex have one? the same birthday. 20th. You some, deep some, in some your Capricorn, babe. Some people say 21st. February. No, uh, March. So March, April. Uh, March. Oh, no, yeah. You uh, you yeah, March, March what? April. March, he April. March 19th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'm April 22nd. And then uh, Aries oh, ends on like April 20th. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to end as well. Yeah, so I'm yeah, like yeah. the cusper. Are you Googling? Yeah. I'm not no, a cusper. No, no. You're not a cusper. I'm She's a, a real Leo. Leo. To the T. When's your birthday? August 17th. Um, But yeah, I think signs are interesting. It I'm not is. a person that's like, if I'm on a date with somebody and they're like, oh, I'm a Gemini, I'm like, oh my God, I have to check, please. I'm no, not like I'm that. I'm not like that either. Yeah. But it is interesting. And I think that like you vibe with people based off of that. Like you've been very, like now that we've talked about signs, <laughs> like you're very chill. Like you be just kind of going with the flow. You gonna interject when you can. You gonna, but you be chilling for the most part. You ain't like too pressed to say nothing, you know, or prove a point. You. Ooh. You in trouble. No, he's not, no, he not <laughs> pressed to prove a point, but he's just very passionate about his opinion. Nice no, passion. Because fluid. He's passionate. Nice no, passion. Because it wouldn't be a fluid. You're on the cusp. Why are you doing that like you're holding balls, though? Don't try that, bro. A cup, bro. Uh, what? Who holds a cup? Are you, like moving, that? Are you moving? Like, <laughs> are you, are you, are you, are you, you're moving very emotional right now, bro. <laughs> Wait, My you, boy you is very like passionate. This? Like he's gonna say how he feel, and he's gonna stand oh, on I business, and he's gonna ask questions. This is, how, this is how we Middle Eve, Medieval England, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Do y'all think I used to say nigga back then? Nah. In Medieval England? Nah, nah, nah. nah. What, what would it be? Nah, no. Whole ass nigga. <laughs> noble yeah. nigga. With the sword. Noble nigga. <laughs> no, a noble a noble nigga. nigga is crazy. You know what? I actually like that title. I like that. I'm a noble nigga. I'm a noble. Yeah. We are noble nigga. Noble, 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 noble nigga don't even sound racist, you know. Is that, it don't, it don't. It? I wouldn't it don't. even be offended, actually. Because yeah. you might no. walk in and they introduce you like that. Noble nigga. Taser Black. <laughs> the noblest nigga. <laughs> noblest of noblest. Dropshire the third. He was like, <laughs> hello, oh, no. No, hello, noblest nigga. <laughs> hello, my fellow niggas. Nigga. <laughs> and I, honestly, if somebody introduced me like Welcome. that, I'd look, I I'm would be like, like <laughs> cheerio. Because <laughs> I am a noble nigga. Uh, you were kind of side eye at first, but you'd be like, <laughs> all right. Actually, that's literally. The, that's the, that's the uh, covert racism that happens over here. Um, I Sometimes. like that. I ain't gonna. They're gonna hear me. They're gonna be like, "Rod, <laughs> if we put Noble in front, they'll be fine." <laughs> Look, let me tell you. But that's that's how y'all be getting over, though. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's how the UK y'all get over because y'all sound so proper. Mm-hmm. Like y'all know what y'all talking about. It's all. It always seemed like y'all stand on business. Yeah. Because if you call me a Noble nigga, I'm gonna listen to whatever you say. <laughs> I'm like, he probably right. I probably, probably am tripping. Me, I'm probably right. I'm like, damn, bitch, I'm a colleague. He said I'm a noble nigga. <laughs> I'm like, damn, he read you down. <laughs> he it's ate weird. that up. It's a weird, noble dog. nigga. Because I feel over here, that's not really the swear words that we use. In terms of if someone's being racist to you, they don't, they won't say, maybe the new gen might use nigga. Yeah, ER, but nigga. The, but the old. What they going to say? The, I don't know about the YouTuber, but I fucking even. Bigot? Nah, there's bit no like wog, like wog. What's oh, wog? Like golly wog. Golly. Like, but they'll call you like a wog, or maybe they might say. Oh, something. so that's like the like. Like stuff, no stuff like that. It'll be more like 
monkey. Like it'll be oh, more like stuff okay. to let you know. Yeah, oh, be okay. Yeah, monkey. Oh, monkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what? Yeah, I yeah. saw that like at a soccer game or something. They were like making like monkey sounds yeah, at one of the yeah, players. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think probably Spanish legal. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. Or, or like they'll just call you like stuff with black before it. Okay. So you're black bastard. Oh, okay, you black okay. This, you black yeah. that. They'll be very. It'll be more like that, mm. as in to let you know. I see you, you yeah. black. You know what I'm saying? Whereas in America, it's more like, nigger. Yeah, nigger. that's what they gonna do. Yeah, 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 they say it just like that too. You heard it before. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm dead, man. 18 times. <laughs> <laughs> it's familiar. Oh, no, they scary. Yeah. They don't ever call us black bastards. You know what's crazy? <laughs> no, but you know what? You know who does, so though? We they say that to each other, though. Don't call us black oh, bastards. Oh, when black people, when they argue with each other, especially if, like, now, it, that is offensive. Like, when you argue, you see, like, somebody, like, light skin arguing with somebody dark skin, because that's a big thing in America. Oh, They'll I'm brown. Like, you I'm brown. they be like, you black ass. You black you know, ass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you black B, or you... They, they, yeah, black people do that to each but other more But I feel like that's so. an American thing, because is that a thing over here? Like, no, I feel like no. only in America do we, like, put... Skin tones against we, each we, other. We used to a long time ago, like maybe Taser maybe might have experienced it more than me. I didn't really experience it like that when I was growing up. But being younger, if you were like dark skin, mm -hmm. very dark, they'll call mm -hmm. you Blick. Mm -hmm. Blick. Someone did me that the other day. Yeah, this like, like, twenty twenty four. They call you Blick. That. Yeah, that's like, but crazy. It's just like being dumb. It's just this this whole. But it's not really. Doesn't. I can't say it doesn't happen anymore. People were, were a bit more mindful of colorism and. Well, so, in, a, so. in America, too, the climate has changed, though. Like, it used to be, like, light-skinned men were it, but, like, dark-skinned men in America, like... Mm. A T. Like, they are T. Why is it only America? I'm on the cluster. I don't know, but because I don't know how it is here. No, but I'm just saying, I'm dark-skinned I'm on the cluster. I'm on the cluster with that one. Uh, do do well, they I love the dark skins here? here. The dark... Like the girls right. love y'all here. That's, I, do, that's what I'm saying. I, I can't speak on the UK. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's only my second time you here. You can speak for us, though. Yeah. I can't. The, the dark skin men you've seen from the UK. Oh, beautiful. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. men yeah. are yeah. worldwide. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. In general, cusp. though, yeah, that's what I'm saying. UK, UK men are beautiful. Cusp. Cusp. Yeah, but I'm saying like UK yeah, men are. Brown. You know, they are. Y'all very beautiful men. It's hard to find a fine man in America. You gotta choose. What do you think about the dressing in terms of the UK? Put that shit on. Y'all put that Come shit on. on. Shay said y'all all look like Brent Fires. Like y'all all dressed like Brent Fires. Brent Fires? He been just like us. Yeah. That, that's what I said. Just born, agreed. Son. Agreed. He's inspired by us. Yeah, yeah. Born, I son. think it's more like, it's just the Europe. It's the European, because like, I'll bring in like... It's France, the elements. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I think the, the European people just in general are so stylish. Yeah. yeah. I Where think are your family so from? behind? Nigeria. Both of y'all? Mm. Okay. Yeah, I just, I love... Like, She's like, hmm. well, You know, I have my Nigerian era. I, love I used to have the a culture. Like, a lot I feel like in, in America, Houston, we don't oh, really have no culture. Oh, Houston, I had a time. Right? I went to Lagos before. She did. Oh, yeah. She enjoyed it then. Changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> good? I had a time. I can't, I'm going back in December, and I told myself, this trip has gone so well, and I understand the podcasting market out here now. So we're going to go... We're going to do a Lagos run next year yeah, for yeah. sure. Oh, like that? Yes. Who are you able? We do Lagos one. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're doing we a Lagos one. And we're going in December. So I we're have gonna go to go. You know, like, we're going to go this year in December to kind of, like, lay the groundwork and stuff, and but also have fun. But, like, I'm going out there to do some work. Oh, for like sure. that. Yes, man. Lagos, they got a big... The thing, the thing with Nigerians, yeah? If Nigerians fuck with you, yeah? Yeah. It's crazy, So we'll be going in December. But it's the same thing in, in London, December, too. You can just go anywhere. No, but London's different. London, like... London, because London's very, like, is, like, two million... Two, three million black people. The rest are not black. How many? What's the, like the general population? Why? So sixty-five million people, roughly in the UK. And then it's only five million no, black like, people. No, like two, two, two million, two, three million black people. We're like four. Two, three million yeah. black people out of sixty-five yeah, million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 4%. 4%. That's what we're, we're lit. We're lit. But, you got but, but that's what I'm saying. saying. So many of y'all, though. Do you know what I believe? I believe right now. Areas. I believe right now that the UK is strong where we yeah. can take whatever it is that we're doing and go to different places and still remain yes. UK. Whereas and you're, before, and you're we were trying well. to like sound like you lot and look like well, you lot. You know what I'm saying? Because the global this, market is a lot bigger, but now we're, nah, it's, it's What I've learned now. about the, yeah. the UK podcast market too is like when we said, oh, hey, we're coming to London. hard for y'all people. Well, I said, hey, we're coming to London. Who should we collab with? Mm. It was the same like five, six yeah. podcasts. You know, like if somebody did that, oh, we're coming to America. Who should we collab with? It's going to be about a hundred different podcasts. Mm. People are going to name because there's so many. Like out here, there's like a group of y'all 
that are doing, you know what I'm saying? That are mm-hmm. doing y'all's thing, which is a good thing because yeah. it's not like an oversaturated market. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm like, okay, I understand the industry out here is way different than yeah. it is. But I, think it, from- but I think it's also who they rate. So it's kind of like who they've grown up listening to or who they listen to in terms of podcasts. So you'll see the same kind of names coming up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, I feel like it's always the same, probably five, six podcasts. But I just didn't know the population. I mean, because obviously, if you're looking at it from like a global standpoint, 65 million people and then 3 million black people, that's yeah. not a lot. Yeah. That's why I say I love Legos. That's what we want to say. Yeah. I want to be like, outside. I didn't know y'all was off Nigeria, you know. I feel yeah. like America, y'all be going out there in the really I, I, like, I want to, but I ain't been since I was 16. Damn! Yeah, oh, you yeah. tripping. Yeah, you wow. tripping, my brother. Yeah. And you 35? Yeah, I know. No, that's no, no. almost 20 years. Yeah, see, that's what... Everyone's saying that. And he goes You're eight, not, 18 times. I'm not going to lie. How you... Let me I, tell y'all. I, well, I wanted to ask him. I am interested. Do y'all... Do y'all feel like Americans have, like, real culture? Uh, do you know what it is? That it's interesting you say that because whenever... When you're from the UK, there's a thing that you do that when you meet someone new, you normally say to them... Oh, where are you from? Mm-hmm. But when you say where are you from, you don't mean in terms of the UK. You mean like where's your family you're, from? Yeah, yeah. So normally, if I meet Taze, I'll be like, "Where are you from?" He'd be like, "Ah, oh, Nigerian, Jamaican, whatever." Mm-hmm. So when I was going to America, when I was meeting people, I had to stop asking Take that question these. because it was kind of because I didn't want it to come across like I was being insensitive because yeah. I was saying, oh, "Where are you from?" And they'll be like, "Ah, oh, Texas or Atlanta." I'll be like. No, where you no, no, but where, where, where you from? from? But then I had to realize that some, a lot of people from America, we don't know. That's where you're yeah. from. Do you know what I'm saying? So I, I stopped asking, and I, I kind of got used to saying, "What part of America are you from?" And then just leaving it there. Yeah. So I feel like I don't think we believe. Well, I don't that you don't have culture. You do. I feel like the culture is what you've created with what there. you had. Yep. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Because it's, it's still when you look at like music, um, lingo, certain things that Americans do. It's an, a worldwide export. Like you. The way you people talk, do you know what I'm saying? So I feel like you have got culture. It's just that it's different to mine because I've mm. got the mixed culture of me living here, but then I've still got my parents' culture, mm. and my heritage of Nigeria, Where you're originally which is not from. the same. Because if I go to Nigeria now, you they're gonna up. they're gonna call me a British boy. Mm. Mm. But when I'm here, they're gonna say to me, "Where are you from?" Mm-hmm. But I'm like, "But I'm yeah. born here." It's like, "No, no." But where are you from? So I'm kind of in this weird no man's land. That it's like I live here. But I'm not from here. Right. But I'm not from there either, but I am yeah. from there. Whereas, sometimes. you know what I'm saying? And also sometimes when I ask people where they're from, it's more to kind of gauge what your upbringing was like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And sometimes when you ask people like in America, they, they don't answer the question. And so I'm like, I'm just trying to gauge. Like, Nobody asked you know, like, anybody mom, like, So I can understand if your upbringing was like mine. Because sometimes I tell stories with me and my mom. Yeah. The Nigerian community fuck with it because they're like, my mom was the same. Yeah. Thing. So like, there's a community there. Whereas when you ask an American, it's like, you they, don't no. look, like well, I'll Texas. say this. I don't know there, what that means. I see arguments all the time because there's like certain black Americans that are like, I'm American. Don't call me African American. I'm from, I mean, it's a big we argument. We all are, obviously. But I say that to say, it went, it, with American history, they did everything that they could to disconnect us to where we came from. And yeah. make us so, feel like it's a bad thing. To make us feel thing. like it's a bad thing. Like, we have to be America. This is what we represent. We represent the American country, period. That's why I so think black people are always like, I'm not, what? Like, yeah. no, I'm not African. So I'm just American. Down to us. So, because honestly, if you ask, we really don't know. Mm. So when we ask, because when we ask people where we're from, they're like, oh, I'm from Cali. I'm from the Bay Area. I'm from Texas. Because we, but if you ask anything beyond that, we don't even know anything past probably our grandparents if yeah. we're lucky. The deepest it'll go is like, example for me, my family, my grandparents were both born in Louisiana in Lake Charles. So like, I, I was born in Houston and I grew up in Houston. But like, whenever people ask me where I'm from, I'm like, oh, well, my family is from Louisiana. And then I, my biological dad, his family is from Dominican Republic. But, like, that's as far as it, it, goes. As it goes. Yeah. And a lot of times, the only time black people are finding out where we're from if we do, the, like, the little ancestry test. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that boom. And everyone started putting flags yeah. in their bio. And then they're like, <laughs> yeah, and then, but they put people DNA in. They uncle getting caught from a court case 10 years ago. And they using the DNA for, so it's like, we couldn't even is do that. that. happening? That, that what was happening for a while. They were oh, like, crazy. people were getting in trouble. They really were. I just, and, we and, just and, not and, as tapped and, in. And also, people finding out that like, their dad went this. 
Yeah, it was a lot. It was oh, yeah, a big. Yeah. My yeah. sister did our test, so but she's she not said a criminal. Hers was like Cameroon. Yeah, like found out that's where you know most of my family came from, and it was like the second one was some. No, the second one was Nigerian. The third one was some island. I can't remember. I need to text my sister mm -hmm. and ask her because I know she still has it. But that's the only way we'll find out. Mm. Like because you have to realize we don't like, know our history. Like it was like books that they used to have. And all that shit, they burned them down. They don't want when mm. slaves would escape. Are you in Nigeria telling people that you're Nigerian? I used to. Yeah, see. Because I, I want to be Nigerian. Nigerian real bad. I need to do my own. My uh, man was Nigerian. Tree. So I was like, if I find out I'm like 20%, I'm about to start telling people I'm from, I'm Naja. <laughs> Period, Naja <laughs> I'm Queen. Naja. I used to have a Nigerian country. flag in my Naja bio. Well. Oh, see, I know. yeah. Well, after you did, I see after you. I went, no, after I went to Lagos. Oh, you just put it in there. I said, I, my life has changed. <laughs> I am a Niger queen. I want to be Nigerian real bad. Till this real day, bad. people still ask me. They're like, you're Nigerian, right? And I'm like, yes, I am, actually. I'm Nigerian by great association. Time, great time. Oh, it changed my life. Like, I cannot wait to go back. I want to go. I want to go for the first life time. Life changing. Like, it's life. I'm oh, ready. it was a time. It was so a time. So before we wrap up, yeah, this guy likes to go on as if he can sing. What? Oh, no, no, don't do that. Oh, we love it. We love it. No, no, I was like, uh, no, no, don't no. threaten me with a good time. No. Let's go. So, um, I was going to say, right, can you ahead. end the put on the song? On the, we'll one join of your favorite in. Song. We'll join in. We'll join you. You said you can sing. Brent, does he not say you can sing? No. <laughs> I love Brent. This, this nigga. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> this nigga. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm trying to change the subject. I'm trying to change the subject. Love you, man. <laughs> Thank you for coming, ladies. Yes, this was fun. This was nice. So we're gonna do this again because I had um like dilemmas and I had some other. We're gonna do a game. Yeah, we gotta do it again. Or oh, when we come, we're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna America. come. We're gonna come and join you. Like we're gonna do the American run. Yes, yeah. whenever um if y'all come, my dad lives there. No, we we're what? in Atlanta. We live in Atlanta. Okay. okay. So yeah, whenever y'all come to Atlanta, y'all gotta come to the studio so y'all can do a poor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in Atlanta next week. You I see? know that's right. Oh, yeah. when are you in Atlanta? Wait, figure out. This dude, uh, yeah, y'all. Whenever, whenever, whenever I tell him to come, he never wants to go. Listen, when y'all come to Atlanta, listen, let us know so y'all can come to the studio. I have a R&B event Ooh. that I run here, and it's it's going strong. So every week is something. Crazy. I was going to invite you lot today. Wait, but, yeah. is it today? In Brit in you Brixton. Said you lot had photo shoot. No, but that's yeah. Wait, wait. Early. No, my thing's early. I'm five to eleven. Well, we can come maybe after Where the photo you, where's shoot. Where's your... Um, we've stopped, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. Can we close it out and, like, tell people where to find us oh, and yeah, all this yeah, stuff? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. My, my shameless, God. Shameless my plug. Bad. I'm professional niggas. Sorry. <laughs> mm hmm Are we ready? Yeah. Okay, so y'all can find us every Friday. We have a show called Poor Minds. It drops 10 a.m. on audio, 7 p.m. visuals. Um, you can find us on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, anywhere you listen to your podcast. Yes, and it's P-O-U-R underscore M-I-N-D-S. Yes. On all platforms. Yeah, check in. Yeah. Tune in. Tune what, in. What's your favorite thing about the UK just before you... Leave. My favorite thing about these I'm not gonna lie, like we went to the club last night and it was like real calm, but I love the music. Like the DJs here never miss. Like it's a different vibe. It's I think a it's totally a good mix of house music and then like Afro beats, Afro beats and, and then also rap music. American music. It's, yeah. It's a vibe. Well they don't it's have they don't they don't do multi genre um no, DJing. Not no, not really. Not really. If they do, they play like the generic Afro beats. Yeah. Like you got you know specific spots. Like yeah. you want house music. So what I'm hearing is that we need to come yeah. over there. Yeah. Yes, I told you you're gonna clean up. Are you in a relationship? No. Oh, yeah, you're gonna clean up. Oh, in that way. Oh, yeah, on both ends. On both ends. He was talking about like, talking about money. No, but I'm saying about. money and the women. <laughs> yeah, I think you in the UK kill two birds. I give UK. I'm not coming there to to um, pretend I'm American. No, no, I'm saying you give UK men. Yeah. What does that mean? GK, you give UK vibes. As in, I look at like, you and I look you to UK. Like, you know how, like, the girl... I think the girls, when they think of, like, the UK black guy, they think of, like, chocolate. Beer. Full hairline. For the, for the, <laughs> nice teeth. White teeth. <laughs> you are giving. You is giving. It's giving. Wait, for, the, for the listeners, there's four women in the studio and they're basically saying, yeah, they agree. He didn't want. He said, I'm just, the just, one. Just letting them know. Shut I'm going 18th, 19th time I'll be. I'll join you. <laughs> Do you like you and you obviously I mean, love you America? Really give UK men to he does he does with his salmon shirt. But do you know Ooh, that's, salmon? I told you. Well, he said it's burnt orange. Burnt orange. And are you in a relationship? Nah. 
I know because you be going to America too. <laughs> <laughs> he going to see Patricia. No. He got on his Patricia. Air Force One. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, for Patricia. Be, it's for business. Mm. Business. Mm-hmm. Well, thank y'all for having over us. Right over there saying I'm the noble nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a noble nigga. Oh, I got dubbed. When y'all come on, when y'all come on our show, I already know that's gonna be the name of the episode. Noble, noble, noble oh, nigga. <laughs> yeah, we're coming to your show. Yeah. We're, 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 gonna, to. we're gonna do a run, definitely. <laughs> I had a great right, time. Let's go. Let's go.